Whoa. I'm prepped, I'm ready. I lost internet a minute before the stream started. That's incredible. What is with internet? Like, it always goes out at the most- Yeah, there, there it is. That's some horrendous, horrendous drops right there. Well, I'm gonna try my best. We'll try my best. How about that? Uh, and my best begins in three, two, one. Hello everybody, welcome to the stream. It is the Be and Air stream today on this fine 26th of June, 2023. I hope you are having a wonderful week and will have a wonderful week ahead of you. My week has been uh, tiring. I think I might have said that last week, but it is continuing to be tiring. Uh, so uh, we'll, we'll do a standard live stream. We're not going to do a crazy long one. Uh, if, if, you, if you're in the, the comments waiting to go, hey, BlendyB, when is, uh, what, are you finishing the game this stream? No, no, it ain't happening this stream. But you know what I am doing? Uh, starting it? Well, not, not like starting, starting, but like, uh, getting into it starting, I guess. Um, so yeah, this is more Pokemon Sapphire. Have you seen this game before? If not, then you haven't seen the past seven streams. Uh, or have been alive in 2003, because this game was massive at the time, and my internet is less than massive. Jeez, bro. I'm constantly dipping in and out as well. I'm not too sure what's going on there, but you know what? I'll try my best. And if uh, my best isn't good enough, the VOD is good enough, so I'll just con commit to that. Uh, in the last stream, uh, went around uh, to beat the seventh gym, the double battle. Uh, went through uh, the Shoal Cave, found the underwater base, and uh, proceeded to also catch uh, this thing. It's a fish, I think. I think it is. No, I have no internet now, do I? We're hard dead. This is going to be interesting because I don't have my uh, list of things that appear after me ready. Well, I might. I'm constantly losing... Yeah, I'm... Well, we'll do a, a live debugging if uh, the internet keeps going out. Seriously, I like that was a hard dead stream, and then it's just like, okay, we're back in. We haven't dropped yet, but oh well. That's that's the worst part when your stream dies, and then um, you <laughs> I made you worry. I made you worry. Um, but no, when your stream dies and then you just, like, it doesn't stitch back onto the last one, it doesn't go, oh, this was a dead period, it's like, no, it just, it's a new stream all of a sudden. Do you think there'd be a session token that comes from, like, the user to say, hey, I started streaming at this very particular point in time, and every time you, you know, you lose connection you come back, you just tell the server, hey, yeah, it was part of this session, and it'll just know to stitch it back on. So, okay, I'm at this weird point where, mmm... Some of my Pokemon are kind of weak. Magcargo is not at all the right type for this gym. And this is going to be the kind of iffy thing. Because he's rock fire, any water type attack, which is virtually the entire gym, uh, is going to wreck Magcargo here. Um, and since he's not very fast, he doesn't really have much of a shot. Never mind that also Flamethrower is a strat. Um, so... Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't think that's particularly going to... My notes that I keep forgetting to bring up. But you know one thing I probably will do? I don't think I'm really going to get Swampert, like, high enough level. So I think now's a good opportunity. We got Earthquake at the end of the last stream. Um, and Swampert naturally will learn Earthquake, but I think it's level 52. Which I think is just going to be too late. I don't have a place to really teach um, Earthquake anyways. Or, like, no one else is going to be using Earthquake, because, like, I mean, look at this list. Uh, oh, dang it. Yep. Yep. Hold on. But, like, uh, like, no one else on my team, and Mad Cargo is one of them, they're not going to be able to learn Earthquake, so it's not like I'm going to be able to leverage it on anyone else. But, uh, let's teach it to, uh, to Kipperoni. Who still has Growl for some reason. What was the other move I've got on him? Uh... Iron Tail. I mean, I'm not really going to be using Growl, so... I don't think that's much of a point of it. Um... 
we can definitely get some stuff after the gym. But before the gym, it might be interesting. There will be places to grind. So if this attempt uh, does go a bit south, uh, then I've at least got some opportunity. I haven't dropped anything. I haven't dropped any frames since it started dying like a bit ago. Weird. Strange. Bizarre. Oh well. So anyway, here's the gym. Uh, after capturing your legendary, here it is. Utopolis' gym leader Wallace is a master of water-type Pokemon, and to get to Wallace, an icy floor will hamper your progress. Listen, I'm sorry, but that's all the advice I have for you. The rest of the way, you'll have to go for yourself. So basically figure out that this puzzle is uh, a bit mean like that. Thanks for the follow, Sophia. Sophia Jack. Or is it so FIA Jack? Ooh. Should teach you how harsh battles can be. Well, they can be pretty harsh, yeah, true. Um, so pretty much, uh, yeah, there's three little chambers of this gym. Um, also, all the trainer Pokemon are going to be in the, you know, in the 40s. Which might be interesting, but I'm hoping that I'm able to kind of go on with a bit of a sweep. With Cast Form, at least. Cast Form is going to be my sort of bread and butter. I'm not really too sure what exactly my strats are. I know I've got Grumpig with, um, with a Electro, not Electro Ball, Shockwave, that's the one. Um, and I've got like some general, Oh, that's just, that's just cruel. So I mean, it's interesting too, right? I don't think Cast Form is going to take out the next Pokemon, but you know what, like, Hey, they're level 40 Pokemon, sure, okay. Um, but yeah, this gym is probably going to kick my butt a bit. Um, I've still, I've consistently found I'm just not that high a level right now. I am still like in the lower to mid 30s now, and it's like, yeah, like, these guys are level 40. The highest level on, um, on the gym leaders team is going to be 43. So... Yeah, if I don't get it, that's okay, but um, pretty much the only things required to actually beat the game is get this guy's gym, and then yeet it out east, walk up Victory Road, and call it a day. You know, beat, beat, uh, you know, the, oh. okay, uh, you guys like to drop a weather ball? Is weather ball even going to be good enough? Yeah, it's okay, it's good enough. That beeping better stop. Riff Raff's got to get some more levels, so because he's uh he's he's still not evolved. I'm not really too sure if Riff Raff is also going to be okay for this gym, just because again he's got the the water type weakness. This is the kind of iffy thing about my team is that Kipperoni doesn't exactly resist water. Um, Cast form, I think, would basically be the only one after a rain dance, but that doesn't save him from the other types go, uh, going on. So. Um, but I'll keep Riff Raff in the Mix Mash. We'll get Nonogram up front. Um, but yeah, the way this gym works is that there's three different chambers. Uh, you got to solve the puzzle by basically standing on every uh, square without crossing, you know, without re-stepping on the square. And if you can do that, some stairs appear. Um, you'll find two trainers here if you manage to not succeed here. Um, there'll be two trainers on the next one, which you also got to keep going down and fighting all the old trainers. So. The easier thing to do is to, like, get it right. Well, one, get it right entirely and just get up to the top. But also just purposefully get it wrong so you can fight two trainers, you know, at once. And then you can fight another two trainers, like that kind of stuff. Um, I'm in love with you. I hate being in love. Now we shall witness the joys of love discs attacks that. It's horrendous. But I'm also probably going to be in love forever. This is how this works, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, how are you guys all doing? Um, it's the end of June, uh, coming up. There we go. Um, wow. I'm surprised that did not... It's the level difference, really? That major? Maybe. Um... Yeah, it's the end of June, so it's July next week for the stream, and, uh... Ah, I got flailed again. Is my luck gonna be horrendous? 
the odds are saying I should, you know, hit this, but no. Nope. Four out of five. Oh, 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 we get another chance. We get another chance. We get another chance. Will it be five out of six? Okay. No, no, I got there in the end. I got there in the end. Two Pokemon that barely made it out. <laughs> barely. Please forgive me, Wallace. Um, so yeah, so it might be easier to just, you know, take two on at a time and bail out. Except there's four trainers at the top, which makes this potentially the gym with the most trainers of all time. Eight. Plus the gym leader. The normal type gym in this game had seven, but I think eight might be actually the record. Eight's pretty high. And that means plenty of experience at least to gain, so don't pass this opportunity to fight a bunch of level 40 trainers. Um, but you could also always go back and, you know, refight some old trainers here and there, and... Even if you want to just, like, fish up some Pokémon. So, the trick is, yeah, stand on all the platforms and... You'll have your, your way out shown to you. But yeah, like, look at that, it's like, there's no way... There's no way that you can dodge three trainers as you head down. It gets even worse as you go, like, um... On the, on the floor above, because they're all facing the one platform you want to actually be on. Get all the zoom roll. Everyone likes a zoom roll. Including me. Oh, I hate him. I hate a zoom roll. <laughs> uh, but yeah. So this week has been, um, there's a couple of news things. Not a lot of news. Um, I still don't know what's the... Oh, I guess we had the Nintendo Direct, didn't we? Yeah, okay. I might as well talk about that one first. Um, let me see if I can get the list of games shown off at the Nintendo Direct. Um, the Nintendo Direct archive? Not the archive. Any, everything announced. Press start.com.au. Don't play a video website, please. Okay, no, it seems okay. Um, so, I guess the big one, let's run to the list. Uh, the big one that they kind of showed off to begin with is that uh, Nintendo is doing a, um, I'm going to say just a HD remake of Super Mario RPG, the SNES game. Um, it's, uh, it looks, uh, as in the translation of the SNES art style, it actually looks really faithful. Like, I don't see any huge problems with it. I guess the one thing you might be personally against, you know, against Mario having a very diminutive look. Like, he's got no neck. He has full-on, like, big head. He's just chilling there. Um, oh, I'm getting Waterfall. Waterfall is a weird attack, because it's, like, not as good as Surf. Um, in the next generation game, uh, Waterfall becomes a uh, physical type, whereas Surf is special type. So at least you can say, hey, there's a bit of a, you know, one might be better than the other. In the case of Swampo, um, Waterfall actually would be the better attack there. Um, but yeah, in this game, it's like, ah, it's a bit of a weird move there. It was the same deal in second gen as well, so... I guess that's why they did the split, so... Um, but yeah, I guess with Super Mario RPG, it's already a game people know of. So, I can't say that, you know... You know, there may be more features in the game. Who knows? Nintendo may be nice enough for that one. I'm gonna see if I can fight one more trainer. So I'm gonna drop just perfectly at the top. I've done this puzzle enough times that it's no mystery in my head. Maybe the last one might be a bit of a mystery. Oh God, look at this mean setup here. Look at this absolute mean setup. I might be... I might have triggered three different trainers all at the same time. Rip that fourth one. The fourth one is never getting any love then. Uh, yeah, this, this will be interesting. Um, so yeah, the trainers here, they range... I mean, there's a lot of water types in this game. You have the Sea King, Gold, Goldeen, Whalmer, Love Disc, Zumeral, there's going to be some Marils, there's going to be Carvana and Sharpedo, and there's going to be a Lombre. Um, someone else has that as well. Lots of Pokemon to have. Lots of Pokemon to... to, um, sink your teeth into, I guess. Uh, but yeah, I've actually personally never gotten very far in Super Mario RPG, so I can't tell you whether it's... Um, an absolutely amazing game or not, but I know that a lot of people really love it, um, and especially as one where, hey, it is a relatively faithful, not faithful, but like, relatively 
well-done RPG, and especially for its time. It combines a lot of, like, you know, the overworld real-time kind of sections with, um, you know, actual turn-based strategy. Oh boy. Um, so, yeah, I'll give it a, I'll give it a, a, a Blendo seal of approval on that one. Um, they showed off uh, for 30 seconds that there's a new game starring Peach. What is the game? I cannot tell you. It is purely Peach has a game. Uh, it could be Super Princess Peach 2, it could be with the vibe check one, could be all this other stuff, who knows? Who knows? Uh, and uh, the other quick announcement they wanted to say, and they, they framed this as like every, you know, Mario character is getting their own game, and it's Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, uh, the, as in the second game, is getting a Switch port. Now, um, Luigi's Mansion 1 had an incredibly late uh, 3DS port, and that port still hasn't reached, um, you know, the, uh, the Switch yet, so... Still sort of waiting on that one, but sure, okay. Um, but yeah, they say like, hey, you know, this will be a, 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 a faithful port, it'll be just like the original, but with a bit more bit more gusto, a bit more HD. You know what, that's fine. Um, well, I guess, yeah, the third game's on the Switch, so... There you go. Complete the trilogy, maybe? Who knows? Um, Detective Pikachu is apparently getting a sequel. I have not played the original, but I know it has a bit of a... Ooh, no other trainer. You sure? Because, I mean, I can send Rebox out. I can send Rebox out. Let's get Rebox to be on this. When I'm with my Pokemon, the time flies by before you can say, oops! Oh, okay. Okay, sure, yeah. Um, again, I've never played this one. <laughs> this is just me going, I've never played these games. I've never actually... That's not a water type, by the way. They have they have baited you. They have baited you. Don't get, don't get fooled. It's just regular, normal type. And it's a babby. You can't do anything, so... Uh... But yeah, I... <laughs> Detective Pikachu, I can't tell you much about it other than it does look like Detective Pikachu. They mostly showed cutscenes, which is, I guess, how most of the, the last game probably worked. If it's like a detective-style game. Um... So now I got Meryl. Now... I can do... Oh, I should have done a Carmine. Let's do one Carmine, why not? My Spatic. My Spadef. Alright, that will be mean. Let's, let's get him with the Confuse Ray, because uh, I don't trust how quick I can, I can turn it off, so... Uh, Pikmin 4 is a game. Um, makes me go, oh yeah, man, you know, like... Nintendo is not one to get into fourth titles very much. They don't do fours very often, although they do have Metroid Prime 4, uh, which has still not been spoken of after they uh, scrapped the whole game, apparently. Oh boy, that roll- that- that, uh, Confuse Ray was very pointless, wasn't it? Oh well. Uh, but Pikmin 4 it looks pretty okay. This one I can at least say, hey, I have played Pikmin 1 the entire way through. I know how Pikmin works, um, but I have not played Pikmin 2 and 3, so I can't tell you, like, does the game get better? I hear people really do dig Pikmin 3, like, as something that's, like, very understated. They're like, yeah, no, Pikmin 3 is legit a great game. Um, so yeah, sure. Uh, it sort of still looks the same. I like the way the art style works. I love this, like, um, uh, I'm gonna say a toy box look, but like that, like, heavy depth of field and, like, you know, lack of focus at anything far away really gives this idea of, like, grand scale, even though really everything in Pikmin should be as mi macroscopic as, or microscopic as possible. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it's very fun and cutesy looking, so I'll give it that. Uh, they also, uh, dropped that there is going to be a, uh, Pikmin 1 and 2. You can pre-order it right now. Uh, but they did actually say, yes, there will be a physical uh, release of Pikmin 1 and 2 on the Switch. Um, and given that Pikmin 3 has a Switch version, there you go again. Switch becomes the definitive console for yet another franchise. There you go. Uh, they've got DLC for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I will uh, say I have not actually finished Scarlet. I got a fair bit through and then I just put it down and never got back into it, which... Uh, at least I can say, hey, I have played the other Pokemons. 
But I can't tell you about the DLC for Sword and Shield, so... Uh, Scarlet Violet, uh, it's... I mean, the DLC just looks like, hey, it's gonna be more area. There's gonna be one DLC that looks like it's geared towards going around an area and catching stuff, and another one that looks geared towards being in a futuristic battle arena. Um, perhaps they'll both have catching stuff and battle arenas, but for now, uh, it seems like that's two halves of the same kind of coin going on, for sure. Uh, this article then mentions that there's new Tears of the Kingdom Amiibo, so if you ever want Zelda and Ganondorf without a shirt, you can, you know, you can do that. Um, let's get Cast Form out again, because level 33, man, like, uh, I can keep doing my best to get him more, more levels. Um, that makes me wonder as well, like, oh gosh, like, I mean, I'm not saying that, like, it's bad to buy Amiibo, but it's like, wow, you know, like, what is... I'm, like, are the sales for Amiibo still that good? Are they still doing this? I guess. Sure. So good on them, I guess. Sure, yeah. Uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe uh, is still getting DLC. Mario Kart 8, for reference, came out on the Wii U in 2014. Um, and I think it had some DLC in 20... 15 or 2016, it was definitely at least a year after release. And then they had announced, hey, along with the 16 new tracks and the 16 retro tracks, we'll be doing a, a DLC pass, which will include 16 more tracks. Um, I think six or seven were retro tracks. They weren't consistently all like four, like eight new, eight old. It was like some worse. <laughs> there was some extra new ones in there. Um, I forgot how many. Uh, those became part, of, I think there were also some more characters, so those became part of the, uh, the deluxe release version that came out on the Switch in 2018, I think? And then, yeah, in 2022, they just announced, hey, we'll have, uh, the Booster Course Pass, where... I guess I'm using, I guess I'm using Thunder. Okay, sure. Um... But in each uh, release, each wave of the pass, they'd be releasing two cups, eight tracks, uh, and um, the general gist of the tracks is that there'd be at least one Mario Kart Tour track and one new track in there. Um, they've been doing it for a while. This is now the fifth one. They have actually kind of just gone, hey, we might as well just release characters as well. So uh, the previous uh, pass or the previous wave had Birdo. And this one now has P.D. Piranha, Wiggler, and Kamek. Kamek? Kamek? What is that? Uh, as well as a track involving a, uh, a bathroom with bubbles flying all over the place. Very cool. Very good stuff. No idea what's in the rest of the... Um, what's in the rest of the... Um, uh, you know, wave. I just wanted to take a roll and just use Thunder again. I thought it probably works. I mean, it's only 70% accuracy, so it's like, the odds of missing are there, but it's not, you're not more likely to miss than not. It's not, it's not sheer cold. Maybe I should be doing that, just cast sheer cold constantly. Last trainer before the gym leader, and then, uh, good luck. I trained my Pokemon to get through the walls, don't think I'm a pusher. Uh, but yeah, I, I would definitely say the Mario Kart 8 pass has been worth it depending on how you feel. Um, I'm gonna go with a hail on this one. Ah, oh, It has been worth it from like the third or the fourth uh, wave. I feel like just more tracks is like, hey, seals the deal. Um, I don't know if I'd recommend it with the, uh, with the, um, the, the Switch Online expansion pass where you have to pay like monthly, but then it's like, oh, you get the, the DLC. It's like, you know, I'd prefer to just buy the DLC outright on this one. Same thing with the Animal Crossing one. It's like they're too long form of DLCs to, um, to, to not own, I guess. The only one is the Splatoon 2 DLC, which is a single player DLC. It's like that one, maybe, but I don't know. So, point is, hey, I'd definitely give, give that one a go. If you played Mario Kart 8 ages ago, I, I think that, that season pass is definitely worth it just for like the you know, just seeing this, like, fun variety of new tracks. I really like the phone game tracks. They're actually really well done. Oh. One last one. 
Um, they've got Metal Gear Solid Master Collection Volume 1. This is a uh, fairly neat bundle. It's a, it's a... the trailer made it look like it was a very faithful uh, version of Metal Gear Solid 1, 2, and 3. That's with the low resolution of the original versions of these games on the PlayStation 1 and the two PlayStation 2 games. Um, it also contains uh, various Metal Gear games that came out on the MSX and the NSS, uh, NES um, before... I think it was the MSX was the original version. Um, so it definitely seems like a very nice bundle. Um, you can also buy the games individually. Very nice. Um, so if it runs well, uh, and it's got some nice little goodies, and I always think having, like, throwing in just a retro game with a, like, as part of these bundles, it's great stuff. It's good stuff. So, the only thing I'm interested in is, uh, Volume 1. What are they gonna do for the other ones? Metal Gear Rising, uh... It's like a Game Boy Color game, I think. Gosh, oh my gosh, wait, I haven't even thought of the gym, hold on. I'm gonna start with Rebox, and it's purely because as much as I want to do a setup, um... I could do a setup. This is tricky, this is tricky. I'm gonna go with this, we're gonna go with Nonogram, we're gonna attempt to do the setup. But the risk I have... And there's always a risk, apparently, every time I try and do this setup. The risk I have is, the first Pokemon I'm up against is Love Disk. With Attract. And, uh, it's female because of course it is, because every single Love Disk is apparently female, and every single Pokemon I catch is apparently male. It just happens. I don't trust that I would beat the rest of the, the gym, but... I mean, yeah, Magtago would just get annihilated. Uh, uh, which way do you go? Yeah, I got this. It's a very fun, snaky kind of walkways, but it, it all works out in the end. Yeah, just remember, you can snake like that. It all works out. But. Allow me to formally introduce myself. I'm... Oh, I gave him, I gave him the, the, the voice. I'm Wallace, the gym leader of Sutopolis. There's something about you. A difference in your demeanor. I think I sense that in you. What happened inside the Cave of Origin, and what you did, I will likely learn through our upcoming battle. Now show me, show me the power you wield with your Pokémon, and I, in turn, shall present you with a performance of illusions in water by me and my Pokémon. Okay, you could use Kyogre to give yourself a slightly easier time. Um, so here comes Wallace, he starts off with a Love Disc. It's level 40, it knows Water Pulse, Attract, Sweet Kiss, and Flail. So I'm thinking, as long as I set up enough Swords Dance, I can technically sweep the rest of the of the gym. Maybe. Uh, but he's got a Tract, which is gonna make my life a bit more annoying, because I can't do anything in particular about this. And then keep getting Speed Boost. Yeah. We'll see how unlucky I get. But I, I was like, I anticipated that. Greetings, Blob, how you doing? We're doing the I want to get lucky strat again. I'm trying to see how lucky can I get? Uh, will I survive one more hit? Maybe. Or do I just commit to it? I never get lucky. Me personally, or just in general, people don't get lucky. See, like, I'll get this hit. I'll probably kill this love disc, because... Uh, oh, no. 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 Listen, if I'm dying to the love disc, I got no hope for the rest of this fight, apparently. Although I do... I, th I do think having the hyper potion, like, wasted on the love disc is probably a bit more okay. Yeah, my, uh, the other thing, I was considering Rebox out first, because Rebox is female, so I wouldn't get... No, no, but I, 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 I don't know, I had a track on, so... The animation's great. So good. 
Okay, well, at least the love disc isn't too bad. But now we got Wizcash. Wizcash is probably gonna be the like the weirdest one type-wise for me to to address. Um, because Wizcash is only weak to grass and actually is resistant to electric. Everything else is pretty fair game except for Steel Fire, Rock, and Poison. Um, I still have Jono in my body, but uh, this does mean I guess um, probably this is Kiproni's time to shine. And I only got one TM for it, and that was it. Yeah. So this is the fun part about having Kipperoni, is that now I have Earthquake. Um, ooh. Ooh. That's an interesting setup. So, yeah, Whiskash here has Rain Dance, Water Pulse, Earthquake, and Amnesia. I'm doing Earthquake, he's doing Earthquake. We're, we're, gonna, we're gonna get this happening. Maybe he'll use Water Pulse, but he's probably gonna use Earthquake. Yeah, Earthquake back on me. Wizcash is kind of, you know, kind of heavy though. I don't trust that I've got quite enough, like, health to take this one on. Maybe. I love that Wizcash just has a giant W on his forehead. You got it set to W for Wombo, and it should be set to M for Manly. I mean, yeah, like, I, I took him out, but that's not like a decisive amount of damage, you know? I, I don't feel crazy confident on this one. Um, next up is Celio. Uh, Celio... I have... I have a magical setup right now. This is a very fun setup I've got. Because they use Rain Dance, I've saved myself a turn! Okay, so Celio here is the one Ice type. It's Water Ice though, so it's not too bad. Uh, that does mean that you can technically use Fire, but... He's also still got Water Pulse. I think every Pokemon on this team has Water Pulse, so you don't really get a chance to deal with that. Um, should be yeah, good with this. I don't think this will take him. No, it's, it's not going to take him out. So, Fighting, Rock, Grass, and Electric are your, your types of choice. Uh, he's got, yeah, Body Slam, uh, Water Pulse, Encore, and Aurora Beam. Aurora Beam is very interesting. Yeah, it's... I mean... He gives you the TM for it as well, doesn't he, at the end? Oh, really? Dang it. Dang it. The paralysis is going to be a catch. This cool new water attack. Yeah. Um. Oh. That's okay. That's okay. Uh. I know Riff Raff's got Brick Break, so technically this could work, but... You made the mistake of spreading out your leveling. I mean... I keep... I don't know, I don't think it's me spreading out my leveling. I think I flat out just don't have... Like, I haven't been doing enough... Um, idle fighting. Like, I would definitely say I've not been fighting wild Pokémon. Like this game. I feel like that's something that I've felt a bit more comfortable on in other games, but in this one I'm like, nah, man, the wild Pokemon fighting has been kept to a minimum. Um, and yeah, this is this is the big problem, is that, like, there's a certain Pokemon later where I'm just like, eh, I'm just gonna be screwed either way. Uh, let's keep Riff Raff in. Let's just go. Spread out your leveling out between a, a max and four Pokemon. Alright, here comes Sea King. Sea King has, uh, Let's just keep going with the Brick Break, I guess. Sea King's got Water Pulse, Rain Dance, Fury Attack, and Horn Drill. That Water Pulse is probably going to wreck me. I feel like I should burn a Revive. I'm going to I'm gonna restart anyways if this doesn't work out, but I am going to burn a Revive on Cast Form because uh, the fact that he's got Rain Dance again is a sign that maybe... I go back to him. Uh, if you, yeah. That's one Riff Raff are like 10 levels wasted. I think Riff Raff will get there. Like, I... What I kind of want is that coverage once I get to the Elite Four. But it is like, this stage is like, very, very cruel. Very cruel on me. If you keep 3 or 4 Pokemon, you would already be having those at level 40. I don't remember it being anywhere near this bad in this game, though. Second gen, 
I definitely felt it real hard only at the end of the game. <laughs> Ah, there's the, there's the odds. There's the odds. And is it gonna bite me? Is it gonna bite me? Oh no, we're good. We're good. Yeah, the second gen was way worse. All my homies remember the Victory Road stream. Where it was exclusively Victory Road. Uh... Yeah, sure, let's just, let's just use the Hyper Potion. Hey, sure, okay. Great minds think alike, I guess. Third gen is still not that forgiving. Yeah, it's not it's not the most forgiving. I like how this is the first time I actually use Rain Dance in the whole fight. <laughs> Only now. I, hey, great minds think alike, what, I, what can I tell you? I do have a, a good amount of, like, rare candies. Wow. Still not... Still not hitting myself. Okay, sure. I got a, a, a good amount of rare candies, but it's definitely... Yeah, I don't know if it's... Quite... Enough. Speaking of not quite enough, I know I'm not gonna have enough, uh, thunders. But he's burnt his two hyper potions already, so... I might have a chance. This is... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wow! Okay. 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 I'll just accept it. I'm just holding my breath gone. Oh, uh, like, my run is gonna be done here. I'm surprised... One revive and a hyper potion has gone me this far in the fight, but sure. Uh, let's just keep the ball rolling. Final Pokemon. Milotic. Melodic. Uh, you know, I'm getting PTSD off that last one, but you know, I've got Rain Dance. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in for it. Melodic is gonna heavy hit right there. I'm still okay. No, we're snapped out of confusion. Uh, it knows Water Pulse again. Twister, Ice Beam, Recover. These are some mean attacks, and Melodic has a bajillion health, uh, which is probably uh, the thing that will probably kill me eventually. So, I don't know what I do to save myself. Hail, I guess? That's just gonna make the ice beam worse, though. I'm too, I'm too slow anyways. This was the thing, I was like, mm, I could sort of get to this point in the fight, but then I'm like, I don't really know what I do from here on out. Because my Lodic is too hefty. I could wing Confuse Ray, because the one catch is that he can't use an item to heal. He has to use Recover. If I can get Confuse Ray to buy me a turn, then I win. And especially I'm faster, so... My Logic is super strong, yeah. And very, uh, you know, um, special bulky, so... Uh, which, fortunately, Rebox is special bulky as well, so this Ice Beam isn't, you know, isn't a killer. Actually, I might as well Calm Mind Spam. Unless I get frozen, in which case, ugh. Like, I feel like, hey, you know, I could... Cause all, all the, wait, is Dragon physical? Is Dragon physical in this game? I don't think it is, I think Dragon is special, right? It is also twisted, so it's not like too hefty. Dragon special? Okay, cause yeah, if everything is special, then... I might have an opportunity to stall this out. Maybe. Let me check. Dragon is... Uh, dra special, yes. So, okay, so here's my Lodic, I'm gonna use Recover, which is fine, that is expected. I expect my Lodic to hit itself in confusion, but granted, I guess I didn't as well, so... This is all over if, uh, he crits, but... I 
thought it would be funny. Okay, well, three is probably enough. Because now he's going to try and hit me, and then it's like, not much damage, bro. And then I'm going to hit him, and it's going to be a fair bit back. The Titanic. Oh, heck yeah. I'm getting that sinking feeling, you know? This is... This is... Remarkably working. What on earth? I wasn't expecting to be able to actually take on that, my lord. Heck yeah, Grumpig is an absolute beast. Grumpig is a beast. I can't, I, I can't, I... Oh! 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 <laughs> that was horrendous, that was horrendous. Like, yeah, I know I spammed a couple of items, but everyone does. Alright. Woo! How come, okay, so which gym, which gym gave me the most trouble? Because that was the eighth gym. I know I had to restart on the electric gym and the flying gym caught me out. I think I had to restart like once and then it became real horrendous at the end of the game. <laughs> but like that one, that that worked out. I mean the odds were pretty good in my favor. The, the, the rain dance setup, the fact that confusion apparently didn't work for both of us. Like, we just, it was fine. I didn't really have many, like, special effects kick in. Like, I could have gotten frozen by that uh, ice beam fairly, fairly highly. Or that water pulse. But no, that worked out. That worked, that worked out real nicely. Cool. So, uh, so yeah, so now I have uh, all eight badges. I can now finally use uh, waterfall. And that means we can go anywhere in the game, basically. There's not anywhere that's uh, particularly walled off. Um, so I thought, let's pull across a couple of, a couple of team members. So first of all, let's get uh, Wingull here. And I'm going to move Swamp It out. Yes, I'm going to move Swamp It out. Um, because, yeah, we almost got Surf, right? I told him Surf. I will teach him Surf, yeah. Um, and then, uh, I'm also gonna need someone else to leave. Let's get Grumpig out. He's been, you know, he's been in the spotlight enough for the moment. And the reason why I want to do this is because, uh, there is one Pokemon I want to catch. And it'll be right here. There's actually a couple of like real interesting things that you can like sorta of now uncover. So yeah, for reference as well, let's uh let's teach the HM. So, because now we've got all the HMs, so I've got waterfall. We're gonna teach this to Welmer. Which move should be forgotten? Hmm, I wonder which one. Uh Where's the move deleter? I've completely forgotten where he is. Isn't that some irony right there? It was in the uh, Lily Cove, wasn't he? Oh, even better. You know what? We're gonna use a feature in this game. Look at this. You zoom in. Oh, I thought. I'm thinking, I'm thinking fourth gen. <laughs> oh well. Uh, Cause yeah, I need to get rid of strength. Uh, uh, I gotta, I, I, hold on. Did, do I have my my strat here? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Where is that move deleter? Is it this guy? Yeah. Okay. All right. No, no, I, I remembered it. 
and the move to leader, I can make your Pokemon forget moves. Which is only necessary if you either want to be one of those people who removes, like, one of the four moves, or you, uh, you, uh, specifically want to, uh, let's get rid of Rock Smash, why not? It's a fun jingle, by the way, you'll never hear it otherwise. Um, and the reason was, uh, I want to teach a uh, Surf on Jonah. Oh yeah, yeah, Surf is a great attack. I, I would also say Strength is a great attack, but you can get more returns in the game, and that kind of surpasses it in every way. Um, okay, so, uh, now I want to go to Route, uh, 120? Which is back to this one. Oh, yeah, like, pfft. I mean, Rock Smash is a horrendous attack. Rock Smash is actually a very bad move. Yeah, di dive doesn't really make sense when you've got a good attack like that. At least with flying, it's like there's not as many, like, amazing flying attacks. Um, we're gonna look in the grass for a moment. We're looking for, uh, for Tropius. If he's not on this route, he's on, uh, the next one. Oh, he isn't on this one. No, he's not on this one. <laughs> Take it back. <laughs> Take it back, he's not on this one. Yeah, he's in 119. My bad. <laughs> he's the other way. <laughs> so, the reason why I want to catch a Tropius, and I'm sad I didn't actually catch this one before, is because a combination of Whelmer and Tropius uh, gets you all eight HMs as, like, coverage. There's a 9% chance Tropius will appear here, so... Because, um, yeah, Tropius can learn uh, Cut, Fly, uh, Rock Smash, Strength, and uh, Flash. As if you ever need Flash, but just, you know, in case. In case you do. Um, and uh, Whelmer can learn Rock Smash, Strength, uh, surf, Dive, and Waterfall. They both know Strength and Rock Smash. You can choose which one's got the Rock Smash and which one's got the Strength. Um, but yeah, between the two of them, hey, there you go. All eight, uh, types. And, uh, yeah, you can basically get Whelmer, um, as soon as you get a good rock, I think. Right? Tropius is, you know, here, I guess. And there's also not really any reason to have the full type coverage when, you know... <laughs> Like, you don't need to teach Waterfall until now, but, yeah. I remember, I think I had Tropius as, like, my original, he was one of my original, like, when I beat Sapphire, like, kinds of Pokemon. He's pretty alright, he just doesn't evolve. Come on. Oh, where is he at? Like, yeah, I, I'm looking at it, it's it's 30% chance Oddish, 30% Zigzagoon, 30% uh, chance Linoon, 1% Kecleon, and then 9% Tropius, which is not... It's not that high, but it's also not, like, horrendously low. I've seen Rara already, like, they've popped up. Oh wow, this is the only route he's in as well. I guess that's your catch. And you gotta walk through this, uh... Group here. Groupy tree. Um, any other Pokemon? I don't think there is another Pokemon that really gets you that type coverage. Actually, I think Breloom does. I think Breloom does. He doesn't know... Oh no, he doesn't do Fly. You specifically need Fly. And Cut. And, uh... We'll say Flash. Okay, yeah. Cut, Fly, and Flash are literally only learned by Tropius. And Latias and Latias, but we're not talking about those two. <laughs> Um, if you wanted to ignore Flash, Skarmory counts, but Skarmory is also not any easier to catch. So... And that's just cut and fly. Like, that's, that's like, uh, that's the, the two that I actually care about. And Salamence. But we're, we're not getting the Salamence today. I think just wandering around the grass, we'll get Tropius eventually. Look at that sweet scent.
make this uh, grass running a bit more, a bit more engaging. Um, yeah. Anyway, back to that Nintendo Direct uh, while I wander around a bit. Uh, WarioWare Move It. Uh, this is perhaps the like I'm. I love my WarioWare. I love it so much. I would buy all the games except I didn't buy WarioWare Gold on the 3DS. I'm sorry, but I did buy WarioWare Snapped at the time. How about that? Um, so WarioWare Move It is a Switch WarioWare, but they already did a Switch WarioWare. Finally, two WarioWares on the same platform, except they did 2DS games. Never mind. Um, and uh, WarioWare Move It is a... There he is. Look at his banana chin going on. We're gonna kick him with a Shadow Ball, just so it doesn't deal too much damage. But it is Ninja, so it's probably gonna do a fair bit. And it's got growth, so... Cool. Um, WarioWare Move It looks like WarioWare Smooth Moves. It, it has basically the same art style. Um, you hold both Joy-Cons in opposite hands, and we'll see what on earth you do in it, but you know what? It's WarioWare. Hey, you know, it's gonna be great fun. I am a huge fan of whatever aesthetic that they do, which is the, um, like, just this, like, real, like, crusty kind of, um, Oh, it's a real crusty aesthetic of just like, oh, these are some real like raw models, the shaders are very simple, like that kind of stuff. But it's the fact that you're constantly going between these themes and aesthetics and styles every few seconds. That's the charm of WarioWare. <laughs> yeah, Tropius is an easy catch. Uh, he shall be the Yiga Tree, named after everyone's favorite banana clan. Yiga tree. There you go. Now I don't need Wingo because <laughs> let's uh, let's uh, forsake this uh, Tropius. He's now gonna learn cut. What moves did he have on him? He had growth, Razorling, Stomp, and Sweet Scent. So he haven't like he's a a decent grass type, and being grass flying is a very interesting combo. I don't know how exactly he's flying, like, I really, I don't get it, because he looks like a tree. Why, why is the tree flying? And not just flying, but can learn fly. I guess he's got wings. Sure. Uh, next game they show is, uh, Vampire Survivors. This is a game that has already done the rounds on, uh... On, um... Uh, Steam, basically. It's... I don't really know too much about it, but it's effectively just like an auto, um, an auto, uh, battler. Well, no, it's, it's not an auto battler game. What, what, how do I describe it? It's a horde game, except you're always auto attacking. So the, so the trick comes from just dodging the attacks and then you get this, uh, random roll. For reference, <laughs> I've got, I've got strength on Jonah, right? Yeah, okay. I just wanted to make sure I was going to teach the right attack to, um, Yiga Tree. But yeah, this means that, you know, hey, I don't have to have three Pokemon now. I can just have these two, and now I can basically go anywhere. Uh, but yeah, there's a few things that actually open up to us now. I love this screen when you've got, like, all your, your moves just sitting there. Okay, so let's go back to, uh... Sutopolis, I guess. Sutopolis? Actually, I kind of want to go to the, um... kind of want to go all the way to the, uh, Media Falls, so... I thought we'll head over this way. I think people do like Vampire Survivors, so it's, it's neat that there's a Switch version. Uh, Sonic Superstars. I think they already announced this one uh, a couple of days before, but it's a 2D Sonic game um, that is trying to get people to forget that Sonic 4 was a thing. Uh, you get to play as four characters, Sonic, Tails, Amy, and Knuckles. You run around, you do Sonic-style things. It looks just like a Sonic game. I'm, I'm not really too sure what's the gimmick, I guess. 
but at the end of the day, you know, it's a Sonic game, so sure, okay. Apparently it's got co-op, okay. Uh, next one, Star Ocean, the second story. Uh, it's a remake. It's got R in the name, so must mean remake. Um, and uh, it's uh, doing the whole Octopath Traveler art style of porting... Well, it's porting an older game, first of all. I think it was a PS1 game, and the original was a Super Famicom game, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but, uh, yeah, they're doing the Octopath Traveler art style, so there's a 3D environment that looks actually, like, fair as a 3D environment, and then they've just got these sprites, like, walking all over the place on top. And, uh, it doesn't... I don't know, I don't like the sprites in this one. Like, I would prefer if the sprites were double the resolution and a bit more animate. Sort of Metal Slug style. I feel like Metal Slug is just, like, peak, you know, sprite work. Um... But until then, it's like, hey, it looks a little, a little indie, a little indie, and I don't know if indie is necessarily the vibe we should be going for, but who knows. Um, and they've got these really nice character portraits when you talk to someone as well, but, like, yeah, the actual sprites are like, okay, they're just there. Um, I'm not too sure if the combat is the same or different. It's a remake of a game I haven't played. Um, but, uh, given that the original is, or rather, the, uh, the first game I had a remake already. Waterfall is a lot less impressive than it was in uh, um, Gold and Silver as well, so... Anyway, welcome to the Inner Sanctums of Media Falls, which if I... Gosh, where on earth is it in this, like, list of pages? I, I haven't written it down. Uh, here we go. Media Falls has... Uh... Oh my gosh, where is... Where is anything here? I've lost all my tabs, I apologize profusely. So I'm pretty sure once you go up the back, uh, you start seeing like level 40 gold bats. It's just kind of weird. Um... And uh, yeah, if we explore around we should find some interesting stuff. Oh, you also find Bagons! Once we get into like the, the really like underground bit. There's gonna be Lunatones all over the place, so there's always gonna be Lunatones, but once we get into, like, the really underground, it's like, there's gonna be just Bagons. Uh, TM23 is chilling here. TM23 is, uh... Oh, I just realized I'm gonna have to fight some trainers as well. Make sure it's safe so I don't actually wander into a trainer here. Uh, TM23 is Iron Tail, which is actually an attack that I want for, uh, Swampert, because I thought it'd be kind of funny. It's a bit gutsy, because it's got, like, 70 accuracy. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's 70 accuracy. 75. It's not, it's not the highest, but it is a very good damaging physical attack. And I thought, hey, that'd be fun for some type coverage. Also has a 30% chance of lowering defense by one stage, so kind of complements everything else. Keep exploring. Oh no, the old people. I hate old people. Uh, Riff Raff, you gotta, you gotta. We've been married for 50 years! I'm gonna get my butt kicked here, aren't I? Medi Cham and Harry Mama. Uh, oh, I got an Aerial Ace. So maybe not the worst. Maybe not the worst. But they, I mean, they are level 40. Oh, snap! Double snap. I'm trying to do a setup here, bro. Oh, you didn't let me do a setup. This is what I get for not bringing in... Um, Not bringing in, uh... Oh, oh. He's tightening his focus. This is what I get for not bringing in a, an extra Pokemon there. Just not taking out, uh, Harry Mama there. Next game in the list is Palia. It's just a 
free-to-play game? Uh, it's a farming sim game, but I'm also not sure what exactly discerns it from other farming sim games. It doesn't really look like there's any combat or any... I'm not too sure what really it's about. They just kind of show it's a farming game and you play it with your mates. It might be alright. I mean, it's free to play, so... Uh, worst you're wasting is your time, I guess. But, hey, might be okay. Uh, Persona 5 Tactica. I thought they accidentally hit an A instead of an S at the end of that title, but I guess that's what they're going with. Persona 5 Tactica is a tactic-style game. Uh, you got the square grid, you got your, um, you know, move your people around and do your attacks. Um, Unless my computer freezes right on the half hour, it might be the changing desktops. I should get that, I should address that. Um, okay, that, uh... It could have gone better, we'll just say that. I don't think Riff Raff is quite as fast as... Well, it's, fast, it's faster than anything else I got on my team, so... It's just these two guys, like that's it, but... Mm. Mm. Do I have this? I might have this. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say on this one, I'm sorry. I might have this one. Yeah, I'm just thinking like, well, Riff Raff here, like, he's got a few moves. Uh, some of them might be okay. But I know Cast Form has one strat, but... I gotta at least take one hit. And obviously they're this high level because it's like, hey, you've been the 8th gym. So this guy's got a... not one, but two Altarias. But it's only three levels above me. But it's got Dragon Breath. So I'm hoping, hey, if I can at least drop, you know, Weather Ball, because, like, this Weather Ball is going to kill him. Hands down. He's got a quad weakness size. Oh, he's going to try and make me miss him, but I ain't missing him. Not today, so. Looks okay. Uh. Next game is Myth Force. This is a uh, a co-op first-person shooter game um, where you uh, pretend to be Saturday morning cartoon characters. Did we have Saturday morning cartoons in Australia? I was never that aware of it at the time. It would always be the before school cartoons. That would be the session for me. You know, uh, I guess that was like Saturday Disney or something like that, wasn't it? It's got fires in the animation, but it is dragon type, and therefore it's okay. Okay, I'm glad. I'm glad. Cast form is remarkably like versatile. That's gonna be a shame once I like. Oh, well, actually, it's not gonna be because I'm gonna replace. Oh, heck yeah, heck yeah! I forgot. Yeah, ancient power. Okay, so ancient power is actually one of the attacks I really want um, uh, Riff Raff to have. One, look. Yeah, look, I mean it's only. The only thing is that it's 5 PP. It's a bit horrendous. But at 60 power isn't great, but when that 10% chance where all your stats buff, it is good fun. Um, so I might as well just hold on to it for the moment. I mean, it's a move you learn through le uh, leveling. Um, and I definitely want it instead of... Um, uh, water Gun. Yeah, definitely Brick Break, definitely Aerial Ace. Um, I feel like I do want Metal Claw replaced with, um, like Return or just something a bit more consistent. But I also don't know if, uh, Ancient Power will be that attack for me. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, like, I'm just thinking, like, everything else. The only... The only other rock type move you can learn is Rock Blast. 
I guess Rock Tomb as well. None of the rocks have attacks are particularly that good. Ancient Power sort of is that one. Uh, here is a fun pattern. Make sure you go on the right way. Nope. I didn't go the right way. Oh well. Alright, all good. Uh, next one is <laughs> the Splatoon 3 Splatfest. I don't know why that needed more time than the Super Princess Peach announcement. Whatever. Uh, the Batman Arkham Trilogy. They are porting uh, Arkham Asylum, which I played on stream at the end of 2020. 2021, sorry. The skull bet might be faster than me. Oh, we're good. Uh, there's Arkham City and the 2015 Arkham Knight as well. I think this is the room with uh, Bagon as well. And it's a fairly high chance to catch Bagon, so if you want Bagon, there you go. Uh, this is also TM02, which is... Uh... Gosh, what is TM02? <laughs> Where are all these TMs? My, my page is out of whack. Oh, it's Dragon Claw! It's Dragon Claw. What a cool one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, Dragon Claw's a, a cool attack. And a PP up. I mean, I might need that, you know, if Ancient Power's gonna be draining all my stuff. We'll be sneezing off to the side like in Tay Zonde. So. Uh, yeah, no, uh, the, the Arkham Trilogy, I'm a little bit, like, on the fence about how well it's actually gonna run, given how shoddy Arkham Knight was on PC and, by extension, Arkham Origins, which they are still not addressing. They'll never port Arkham Origins, I guess. Oh, I looked at the ladder. I didn't want to go up it, I just looked at it and just called it a day. Um... Next one on the list, uh, we're almost at the end. Uh, Gloomhaven. I actually talked to a mate about this. He's a big board game geek. Uh, they actually made a website called Board Game Geek. So I guess, uh, you know, it's for him, I guess. Uh, and uh, Gloomhaven is, or was, one of the, uh, the highest rated games, if not the high highest rated board game on that list. And uh, this is a, uh, a digital conversion, basically. A digital version of the board game. Uh, definitely says that there may be some, you know, Kind of missing, uh, not missing content, more like missing sensation that you get out of a digital version compared to a real version, but, uh, I am wandering in circles, but you know what, sure, okay. I assume this doesn't go anywhere on the right, though, like, this is just, yeah, this is where I've been. Uh, so, I, yeah, was this, this is a way, yeah, yeah. So where was that meteorite then? <laughs> where was the... I'm gonna look this one up because I swear that meteorite has evaded wherever I go. What do I do with the meteorite? More like where do I get the meteorite? Uh... Oh! Oh! Oh no! This is just embarrassing from my end. This is incredibly embarrassing from my end. <laughs> Listen, I'll say as of today, the 26th of June, 2023, I didn't get any comments reminding me that I goofed this one up. Okay, so for reference, maybe like two or three streams ago, I think two streams ago, I had fly and I flew back to, um, to, uh, Falaba town and I was like, oh, I'm going to, uh, you know, use my, uh, uh, or like get this, uh, one move. And then it proceeded to not work and I was like, how come? Why was it not working? Like, this guy should be giving it to me. And it's a key item, and no one told me about the, the... The fact that I forgot to take the key item when it was there. I guess you don't need it, technically. 
Uh, that does mean I'm probably gonna find- ah, yes. Yeah, we're probably gonna find a bunch of trainers up here that are all, like, in the level, like, mid-twenties. But I, in particular, I, I forgot to take the meteorite out of the machine! This is- <laughs> This is- <laughs> Doesn't agitated though. I'm pretty sure these people fight you. Unless, oh, I thought there were these people already. I guess. Just joking. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Uh, so getting the meteorite. Now you can go back to follow the town. I can't believe I just like. I forgot to take the meteorite. <laughs> Cause yeah, this guy, I think in this house, is like, Oh, I've lost the meteorite, I'll never get it back! I should never let myself be conned into telling Team Echo where you can find the meteorites! That meteorite from Meteor Falls is never gonna be mine now! Oh, that, is that the meteorite? Please, may I have it? I'm not asking for it for free, how about exchange for this TM? So, uh, yes, uh, there you go. So, I, I sort of wanted this TM a while ago, and then I just never got it. And maybe it would have been a little more convenient in that boss fight. Actually, maybe it wasn't. Maybe it wouldn't have been. So, you give over the meteorite, and then he gives you TM-27. And TM-27 is Return, which is the basically de facto excellent normal type attack. There's no... I mean, there's not really a better normal type attack out there. Uh, and that means since I've got, like... You know, like... Two Pokemon that have all the, the HMs. Which is probably going to be what I'm doing in, like, Victory Road and stuff. Let us teach it to Kipperoni, but first I've got to fly back because he's got strength and you gotta... You gotta remove your moves like this. I mean, the the game, the reason why you can't remove your moves off your Pokemon, or your HMs, is because, the like, it's very easy to soft lock yourself or hard lock yourself. Would you like me to do that? Okay. Yeah. Kipperoni, which move should you forget? Make sure I select strength, because I'm just... There you go. It worked! My time machine worked! So here we go. Return. Uh, so, return is interesting because it deals, uh, I think, two damage plus, or it's two power plus, uh your friendship stat and then normalize between the values of uh, 0 and 100 because I think the value is actually from 0 to 255 um, but it does mean that hey you know with 100 uh, with max happiness that is a 102 power attack with 100% accuracy and 20 pp which makes it way better than the 15 pp strength that's only 80 power um, there's no special effect out of it but hey it's it's on your starter, and it's on a Pokemon that you've kept around for a long time, so... You can actually get more of these as well, which is very curious. And I shall show you exactly how to as well. So let's have a fly, because there's two places I haven't been to. One is the... where the end of the game is. And the other is, uh... Well, I mean, there's more stuff to see, so... I'm going to keep an eye out as well, because there's uh, two particular Pokemon I would like to get. Uh, here's an interesting thing, by the way. I don't know if I can actually trigger this. This is going to be a bit tricky. Maybe I actually... So when you hit B, you'll see, like, light is flickering down and it'll ask you to like, go up. If you, hit, if you move up, you can hit B at, like, the right time. And you can actually, like, go up, like, on the door frame. I don't know if I can easily trigger this. Uh, maybe I should save, just in case I soft lock myself or anything. I'm pretty sure you can't. I, I don't think you can really, like, soft lock yourself. And I got fly, so... I don't know, I'm playing the patch version and uh, it doesn't work, but I'm pretty sure this works in Emerald. I've never done the dive trick before. Look it up if you can. It's it's called the dive glitch. It's very minor, but it's 
since it's a little bit timing based, it's a bit tricky to pull off. Um, I might as well, yeah, I might as well try and find this in the, in the water here. There's a particular Pokemon that I think you can find here, and if you can't find here, then somewhere else, but it's in these, uh, you know, there's bits of grass under the water. Under the sea. Hi, yeah, where's the Pokemon? Where's the Pokemon? There really should be wild Pokemon coming at me. This is grass. This technically counts as grass. I swear, you can't go this long without, like... I don't even have the cleanse tag on the front. This is what I get for trying to do the dive glitch. I've now broken wild Pokemon forever. There you go. Jeez. Uh, so anyway, here's Clampole. 65% chance to find a Clampole under the water. Um, in the... Yeah, in the seaweed. There's a 30% chance of finding... Jinjiao, nice timing. I love Jinjiao. I was so like torn that I like didn't quite, you know, have an opportunity to use Jinjiao in my uh, gold team. It's, it's so cool. Um, and a uh, five percent chance of finding. Well, it's five percent chance. So. <laughs> but this is very important that uh, you get this Pokemon in particular. Is this it? Hey! There you go. Uh, Relicant. It's just here. It's not really like... It's very indescript, but I'm, I'm doing the... Oh boy, he's got a lot of health. Wow. Blah, blah, blah. I mean, Relicant is pretty bulky, to be honest. And he's the... Uh, yeah. Oops, forgot. Forgot. Types. Catch right. That's actually like how bad is he? Oh, and he's got yawn. Oh, I hate him. I hate him already. Uh, yeah. What's his stats? A lot of people look this up. Uh, oh, he's got 130 defense. That's why. That's why I'm feeling the grunt here. Um, and 100 health. So, um, and yeah, what types is he? He has water rock. What a fun type combo. Let's give him the catch. Catch ray is 25, so not actually too bad. And this will probably be a fairly high chance of catching. Uh, I spoke too soon, but... I got plenty of balls and plenty of Pokemon to sit through, so... He can't, he can't be too mean to me. <laughs> da da da, Pokeball, come on. Ah, come on. Oh well. Uh, next Pokemon, well, next uh, game in the list of uh, games that I keep taking my time to read out um, Just Dance 2024. That's right, they still make Just Dance. Uh, and. It also made me realize, hey, they make Just Dance for the Xbox series and the PS5, but those consoles don't have, um, like, the, the move controls and stuff. How do they do it? And it turns out, I think, other console versions of Just Dance all rely on the smartphone. You have to connect your smartphone to the console and then use your smartphone as a controller. Just Dance on the Switch is the only version that has, uh, that you can just use the controllers directly, which makes me feel a little better about myself. I'd prefer to wave around the controller than the, uh, the phone. And I don't even think the phone would track you as well. No, right? I don't have any, uh, status inflicting, uh, moves though, so I can't make this relic amp catch any easier. Man, he's not having a fun time, is he? Do I go for the Great Ball? Not really. I've got plenty of Pokemon also. Next one, Silent Hope. There's a RPG. 
that's about it. It's a, uh, I, I would sort of call it, I have a joke with a friend where I call everything a cult of the lamb clone if it involves going out on expeditions and upgrading your base, which sort of applies to Pikmin 4. Um, but this game definitely a little more so. It has that going for it. Uh, next game, Fey Farm. It's another farming game. Uh, I remember they showed off too many farming games in One Direct back to back. That was a bit of an interesting one. Uh, this one's a very cutesy looking one, but I also don't know if there's any fail stack going on. Uh, so, okay. Hot Wheels Unleash 2. It's like Hot Wheels Unleash 1, which is running in my Steam library, but it's a... Uh, listen, if that game actually was, like, well received, you know, we might have a pretty good luck with, um... with, uh, the sequel. So, sure. Manic Mechanics is overcooked, but with cars. And that's all I will say about it, because it's all I really could gather out of that. Uh, Mario and Rabbids Sparks of Hope DLC 2. Uh... I hear Sparks of Hope is actually really good. I do want to play it at some point. Um, I sort of dropped off on the last one though. I don't know, it just didn't quite capture my interest for the whole rest of the game. Maybe it's the frame rate. Maybe it's that. Who knows? Dragon Quest Monsters The Dark Prince. They, uh, I don't know if it's been a long time since a Dragon Quest Monsters game. Um, but this is uh, launching at the end of the year, and it's, uh, I mean, Dragon Quest Monsters is Pokemon. They made a whole game where you capture the monsters as, like, that's the game. It's a bit simpler in the sense of, um, it, you know, it doesn't have a grand arcing story with all the RPG shenanigans going on, but given that it focuses much more heavily on the monster capturing mechanic like Pokemon, it's uh, probably sure to fancy the people who are interested in that. Uh, two more. Headbangers Rhythm Royale. It's a game where you play as a bunch of pigeons, or rather you are one of the pigeons, and in a battle royale scenario you do some rhythm games uh, to basically figure out who is the best pigeon. Um, curious how it actually plays. I feel like rhythm games are one where like people can just be too good at it. Stop it. We're going for the Great Ball. This, this Relic Amp is taking forever somehow. Listen, I mean, I know I was super, like, lucky when it came to using, um, or to, like, not getting confused, but now I'm like, why is this Relicant incredibly temperamental? His health is fairly low, like, I wouldn't imagine it'd be more than, like, a 20% chance with the Pokeball, right? It'd be a little less than the, oh, sorry, a little less than 20% chance. And 20% is low, but I've thrown... Maybe a dozen balls at him. The Great Ball should give me a better chance. Still no idea what's going on. Uh, last game on the list is Penny's Big Breakaway. This game actually looks kind of sick. It's a 3D platform, potentially collectathon. Potentially, I'm not too sure. You play as a, a gal with a yo-yo. You use the yo-yo in a bajillion ways. Swing it at enemies. Swing it to basically give yourself an extra jump. Swing it to roll across the ground. Swing it to drive it up walls. Like. Lots of interesting stuff with the, the yo-yo. Oh, you can like swing around poles and stuff with it as well. So, it looks very neat. They say it's from the developers of Sonic Mania, but I have yet to attach the personnel behind it. Um, I was gonna like gawk if the Premier Ball was apparently the one that would like actually work. There's something wrong with this guy. There's something wrong <laughs> that I'm, like, unable to catch him. Finally! Finally! Why did that take... Why did that take so long? Oh, well. We'll keep him... We'll keep him on the back burner. I'm not giving him a nickname. He's just... He's just chilling, so... Um... Overall, the direct was... Pretty fair. There was a lot of, um... Oh, snap. Did they... Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Forgot that one. <laughs> Scroll through this list going, hang on, wait a minute, they forgot the last one. The last one they showed off in the whole direct was Super Mario Bros. Wonder. It is the new Super Mario Bros. game. And I want to say new in the sense of it's like new Super Mario Bros. It's a 2D Mario game. Yet again. But this time, it's not new Super Mario Bros. They're gonna go with a, you know, a new name. So they're calling it Wonder. The gimmick is that, uh, one, the flowers have voice acting. They will now say stuff to you. It terrifies me. Um, but, uh, also the, um... 
guess if a Nora th can actually handle himself, probably. I keep an anagram up front, though, because apparently he's my lowest level. Uh, but, uh, yeah, there's these, uh, I guess, um, wonder flowers. You pick them up, and basically the level goes a bit topsy-turvy for a bit. And then, uh, at the end of the section of the level, if you manage to, you know, get through all the topsy-turviness, there's a little token you pick up. That's kind of neat. It's like, you know, I, I appreciate, and I think Mario's kind of got themselves in a nice rhythm right now where, hey, you know, like Mario 3D Land is probably like the big one where it's like, or not even 3D, actually I think the original news from Mario Brothers, where, um, there's a, uh, you know, like three coins, three star coins in the level, and you'd have to like really try to like discover them and find, you know, get them and then you'd use them to unlock extra levels and things like that. Um, And, uh, yeah, they've basically just taken that mechanic up a level. I don't think it's the, only, the first game that's ever done that idea, but definitely seems like a, an interesting one, an interesting way of going about it. The one thing that kind of threw me off is that the art style is a bit interesting. Uh, Mario and all the characters, including Daisy this time around, by the way, um, are all facing kind of diagonally at you. They're not facing pure right like they are in the New Super Mario Brothers games. They are going diagonally. Uh, I don't mind it. It is a different art style, though. Uh, there's a couple of different power-ups that they show off. Uh, most notably, a tease at the end where Mario becomes an elephant. You have to swim, cycle, and then run a marathon in a triathlon. It's a grueling race because it's a three of us. Uh, by the way, I'm probably going to encounter a lot of just trainers. Not a, not a crazy amount of trainers, but definitely, like, they're just going to be... Level 36? That's remarkably higher than I was expecting, but okay. Sure. It's gonna be, you know, a couple of trainers all over the place. That was a fun fight. <laughs> sure. Lots of money as well. If only I could donate it in a bank. Um. Yeah, yeah. Super Mario Brothers. Wonder. It looks fine, and we'll probably see more about it later, but that is going to be the big Nintendo end-of-year title, given that they've already dropped Zelda, um, and uh, I, I assume we're not going to have a Pokemon release this year. If we do, wow. But um, given that they've already pr probably shown their hands, they've got the, the DLC for uh, see, level 25. Like, what is going on with the levels on these guys? Um, given that we've already got the you know Scarlet Violet DLC, and they did the Detective Pikachu... I have a hunch that they're probably a bit out Pokemon right now. Um, I'm still in the camp of where's my Metroid? Like, I know Metroid Prime Remastered happened. Like, I, I know that's been there, done that now, but I am like, yeah, I do. I do want to know where that sequel is. Just because they announced it ages ago. That was 2017, 2018. It was, it was pretty long ago, that Metroid Prime 4, but yeah, it's for everything else they kind of announced, I'm like, yeah, that's it's a fair direct, a fair, you know, number of announcements, um, some big titles, some smaller ones, um, which is probably the best way for these directs to go, is to have some interesting titles to show off, um, in amongst all the, um, you know, the big ones. Finally a smart move. Use, what, using Slash all the time? <laughs> also excited for the Pikmin. Oh, sorry. Pikmin announced it's finally smart. Yeah. I mean, also, yeah, Pikmin as well. Big game. I, sh I shouldn't I shouldn't discount Pikmin being a big game. I think Pikmin is legit, like, a system cell now. It is, it is, well, uh, system cell is probably an exaggeration. <laughs> I think Mario Kart is the system seller, and I don't think they need anything else, but... Um, yeah. Now you have 1 to 4 on Switch instead of just 3 and 4, so people might actually think, oh, 4, I guess I don't have to... Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, which I think is, like, the... I mean, it's the weird thing why Luigi's Mansion, they've now thrown 2 on there, but not quite 1. Um, I'm trying to think, are there any other franchises where, like... Metro Prime is a sort of weird one for me because they're gonna release 4 and if they haven't given people the opportunity to play 2 and 3 yet um, 
which, like, I mean, I guess the trilogy was on the Wii U as well, so... All they have to do is just somehow have some older game compatibility here and there. And I got them Carvanas and everything going on. Keep going, I guess. Yeah. And a shop eater. Oh. oh, we hit the half hour again. It totally is. Every half hour, a computer decides to freeze for like a tenth of a second. But it's noticeable when you're listening for it. Uh. Yeah, okay, sure. Yeah. Um, I guess, so when I caught the Relicant earlier, I also, there's two Pokemon you need, and the other one is a Whale Lord. Now, I have a Whale Mer, but Whale Mer evolves at level 40, and uh, I'm not leveling him up to level 40. That'd be higher level than anyone I've got. Um, so I thought the better thing would be to, let's just uh, head to this route. This route in particular has a 1% chance of finding a whale lord, um, but it's also 1%. That's pretty aggressive. I think the better odds is throw out your super rod right now because you have a chance of finding a whalemer, a 60% chance of finding a whalemer, and uh, it could be between levels uh, 25 and 45. That at least gives you six levels where it's fine. There's also Sharpedos. And Love Disc for some reason. I don't know why Love Disc is like the rarest of the Pokemon in this list. Um, so it does mean that I'm probably going to be trying the fishing a bit, but... You now once you find a Whale Lord... Or, sorry, a Whale Mer that is higher level... No, that's another Sharpedo. That is, that is another Sharpedo. I also love the fact that, like, level 45... It's really, like, it's really high for a Pokemon that you can just get regularly. Like, the Legendary is level 45. That was, uh, last week a third year of college with all exams. Nice! The exams are done, the celebrations can begin. The graduation ceremony is upon us. Or it's, how, how many years is your degree? Okay, there's a Whelmer. 34. Ditch him. We're burning a, a rare candy on this Whelmer, so he better be a good level. Oh. They are pony. Oh, as in. Oh, as in every exam is in this week. Oh, okay. In that case, I wish you the best of luck. And the highest of skill. And the highest of marks as well. I know you got this, man. You got this. I always... I hated whatever I, like, when I had to do exams. Um, there was definitely some exams where I'm just, like, I'm, like, dreading. And I legit would, like, be, you know, wake up in a sweat freaking every night for like two or so weeks when I didn't have any results and I'll just be like oh no I failed this course I failed this course and I very very fortunately uh, cut it very fine on a few of them um yeah for four years after the summer no summer holidays and after next year I have to find a job Pfft, oh my god well you don't have to find a job quite immediately but like yeah 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 it has to kick in I don't think I mean I wasn't streaming uh, no, I've, yeah, like, I, I, I basically disappeared from my channel in 2016, and I came back in 2020, and between that time, I'd finished my degree and gotten a job, so, um, yeah, I, I there's no, <laughs> there's no account to me on my, uh, my crazy job search, but, yeah, the job search is painful. It depends on where you are and what industry you're in, but, um, uh, I'm trying to catch a Whalemer that is 
level 39 or higher. There is a 60% chance of finding a Whelmer, and then I assume he's evenly, like, distributed amongst his levels between level 25 and 45. Uh, so I guess that means that there are seven levels he could be out of the 21? That should mean that it's like a 20% chance, right? Of a Whelmer that has... that's in the right range. And I already did the effort of catching a Tropius earlier, and a Rollicanth, which is a 5% chance, so this should probably be the most kind thing I'm trying to catch. And I'm making this swimmer guy watch me do the whole thing. I keep finding so many Sharpedos though. I'm actually curious, like, what everyone thinks about, like, all the water in this game. But, like, it's actually not that much, like, in the grand scheme of things. Um, even though I kept memeing and I've got, like, C in the title of all my streams, it's like... Yeah, thinking back on it, it's like, I only started going across the water at the end of two streams ago, which is probably about four hours ago in the game. And granted, like, that is a fair bit of time. But there's also, like, me sort of struggling to, um, to beat the gyms, although that seemed to, that seemed to be okay. I'm gonna have a rude awakening once I do the Elite Four and it's suddenly like, yep, no, all of these Pokémon are incapable of beating these Elite Four people. Alright, I got good feelings about this one. I got good feelings. I got good feelings, but he, Wow, he's taking a sweet time to catch him. There we go. Just gotta hit A, like, <laughs> multiple times. Dang it, it's another Sharpedo! I don't think there's a particularly better place to do this as well. Like, there's multiple places where there's... Um... Whale knows, but... Oops. I don't think any of them have particularly higher chances of... Like... Fine. Oh! Maybe at the next town I might have better luck. Uh, there's no, like, huge rush. To get the... Well, the rushes I want to do with this stream. <laughs> What's the... Oh, no, I'm rushing, dang it! I'm rushing! Because, yeah, I want to I wanna showcase this whole thing, this stream. Uh, okay, Chin Chow could wreck my day, but we're going to slash him nonetheless. Or her. Ooh, that's my day being wrecked right there. I'm confuzzled. I'm confused. I do not know what is happening in the world. Uh... But you know what is happening in the world? It is uh, one of those uh, technology, hardware, PC hardware thing. Chin Chow, Chin Chow is so good. I love him. I love him. Alright, to the cast form. Tisha. Let's just go straight with the thunder. I mean, if thunder hits, there's no reason to use rain dance. It's not like, like, my accuracy goes up, but my actual, like, you know, the damage is the same. I don't need to, I don't, I don't need to waste it or wait for a turn to use that. I mean, that chance is fairly decent, like, in the, in the grand scheme of things. It's a good meme as well, it's just like, ah, yes, thunder. Riff Rap is level 30, yeah, that is two levels away from a certain evolution. And that will be the final evolution of the whole game. Like, that's my whole team fully evolved, but it's also, yeah, okay. Yeah, we're that far in. Route 130, the odds of catching, uh... The odds of catching, uh, well, no, have not increased here. Uh... Let's have a crack. Have a crack at Swords Dance on this one. Uh, Route 130 is an interesting one. I don't think we'll see it here. Route 130 
which is right where I'm on, occasionally has Mirage Island. And Mirage Island is one of those crazy, like, rumor stories. I, like, no strategy guide would ever describe it because they never witnessed it. Just, the, like, the odd people around school will discuss Mirage Island. And, you know, like, oh, wait, like, what? Okay. But yeah, this route in particular, when, like, hold on, what is this? I have not heard about it all until I saw a video about Like, you wouldn't even believe it's real, because, like, when I read out how it spawns, you're gonna be like, oh, okay. And it's weird as well, because there's not really any other time in the game I can think of where, like, the map changes. You know what I mean? It's, it's a very weird thing, like, just the overall map. I guess, like, Shoal Cave changes, but that's in Shoal Cave. So, the Mirage Island is probably right where I'm at. And I've gone right past it, so... Uh, the technical thing that happens is... Uh, two random bytes, a Mirage Island value, are generated for the day after pressing Continue Game, will be used until the in-game clock passes midnight of the next day to generate a new value. The Mirage Island value is a pseudo-random number generation and relies on the elapsed RTC day since the player set the in-game clock at home in order to determine the initial RTC and start to calculate, uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so the elapsed RTC days have a one-to-one -one correspondence with the Mirage Island value, which can be uh, sort of a list. Okay, sure. So I, I guess you could predict when you get a Mirage Island value, I guess, sure. Uh, so a game that has reached the max recordable playtime, 999 hours and 59 minutes, will continue generating the Mirage Island value. Ah, yes, okay. That, yeah, that's another thing as well. This game, once you hit the, the max play time of basically a thousand hours, uh, the game really doesn't know how to, like, you know, handle a day, so it just kind of starts panicking. Uh, this causes uh, some iffy things that happen, such as uh, the berry glitch, where basically um, it doesn't really know how to grow berries anymore. Uh, this could, uh, yeah... Remember that Sapphire and Ruby had the berry not grow? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um... So yeah, at some point, the, the game would just fail to continue onwards, I think, or... I think there's, there's more to it. There's just time passed since first bring up. Uh, has the kid sucked? Yeah, yeah, it sucks as, as that. The, uh... The, there's a couple of fixes, but this was like... This is bad enough that, like, there are a number of things that they did to fix the game. So first of all, future versions of Pokemon Sapphire um, and Emerald fix the problem. In Fire Red and Leaf Green and Emerald, I'm gonna see if I can like, okay, we're just gonna keep going. Fire Red. In Fire Red, Emerald, and Leaf Green, uh, when the title screen displays, you can press Select and B. And then it will prompt you berry program update, and you can then hook in a link cable to your Ruby and Sapphire game, and it will uh, effectively it will reset the clock on your game. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. Um, and it'll effectively yeah it'll fix the clock on your game. Um, also, Pokemon Colosseum and Pokemon XD will have this patch as well. You could download like that Pokemon channel in the. Uh, PAL version, apparently, uh, also does this fix, and Pokemon Box does it. Uh, there's also e-reader patches, and, uh, various interactive demo discs also had this fix. Point is, Nintendo were like, oh gosh, we gotta, or Pokemon Company were like, oh gosh, we gotta, like, absolutely fix this. I'm pretty certain you could send your game to Nintendo, um, for, like, quite a long time, and they would fix this glitch as well. Um, so, yeah, so, uh, yeah, the game cartridge contains a real-time clock which keeps track of the year, month, day, hour, minute, and second, and day of the week. When RTC is first turned on, its data set to January 1st, 2000, because the game has no need for an actual calendar system. It just converts the RTC's year, month, and day data into a single day number. The conversion function has a flaw, however, it will only count years, adding 365 or 366 days for each year or leap year, starting from 2001. So while the RTC clock is reporting the year as 2000 or 2001 in both cases, the conversion equates us to add zero days to the day number. This means that for the first 365 days the RTC runs starting from January 1st, 2000, 
and game's day number will count from 1 to 366 normally, but when the ITC, uh, uh, when the ITC clock reports January 1st, the game's, uh, the game's day number will start at 1 again. If, for example, uh, you planted a berry on December 31st, which is, uh, you know, day 366, it will then be fully grown on day 367, but due to the glitch, Day 367 will not happen until the RTC reaches January 2nd, 2002. This means that uh, berries are frozen, or a berry that you plant is frozen for 366 days of real time, because you cannot change that clock, I believe. Random events that happen once a day also kind of don't work. The lottery uh, will be frozen and uh, the number of successful rocket launches at the Moss Deep Space Station is set to one. Okay, there's a lot of like weird things that just happen. And yeah, from the looks of that, like, never mind, let me let me take that back. I thought it was when your clock um, exceeded a certain time. No, I guess from the looks of it, uh, it's literally just the entire second year of having the game. It's just like, if you did stuff Actually, I think if you did a lot of things, if you have anything time-based, it would just not work. So, that's a real mean glitch. Uh, there is a max date as well, um, in which uh, the game year doesn't go past 2099, but realistically no one is going to experience that for a very, very long time, and probably the battery inside your cartridge is going to die before that actually happens anyways. I think that's the last trainer anyways. Because, check it out, there's a town here, Pacifilog Town. Mirage Island. They keep talking about Mirage Island. Uh, this one guy will save you the courtesy of having to go east by just telling you that it's there. Um, there's not a lot you can really do here, and in fact it's a, it is a weird town. Is that a Pokédex? Did you get a meet a lot of different Pokémon? I wish I was like you. Oh, okay, sure. Hello, trainer. Would you do me a favor? Trade Pokémon with a little bit of Pacific Lock and you're going to have some Pokémon Blossom. Do you have one? I'll trade you a Corsola for it. Why would you, like, get rid of Blossom? That's one of your precious Sunstones. The sea between Pacific Lock and Slate plays a fast-running tide. If you decide to surf, you could end up swept away somewhere else. So that's another interesting thing, but, um, yeah, Pacific Lock is just kind of chilling here. And it's not that big a town, it's got five houses, basically. <laughs> I'm the Pokemon fan club's most important person, the chairman's younger brother. I'm here enjoying my vacation with Pokemon. Yes, indeed, I hear Pokemon. He clearly likes you very much. A Pokemon that adoring and adorable does have a TM like this. He also gives you TM27. So, uh, you can actually talk to this guy every week. Uh, did you just say frustration? He didn't give me frustration just then, but I did. Am I tweaking? Did he? Did he actually say frustration? Then? Okay. Uh, wait a minute. 2099. Imagine how grandchildren are gonna have genetically created real life Pokemon who will live in the metaverse, and this one kid who plays a hundred year old Pokemon game. Much more. Oh, well. I mean, you. Okay. Like the 2099 problem is pretty pretty bad, but the 2038 problem is 15 years away, and we're all gonna experience that one. Um, mm, Cause yeah, I really want to teach return. Return is the other attack I want, but I'm not 100% sure if I want metal. Uh, nah, nah, I don't think metal claw is gonna be good enough. Uh, it's got a lot of PP, sure, but I think having return is probably a better. Plus, also, he's got a lot of other attacks, so I don't think he really needs Metal Claw, so... There you go. Teach him Return as well. Why not have more Return? Easy. Um, but yeah, no, the, the fact that in January 2038, any computer that used a 32-bit number to calculate the time, counting up every second from January 1st, 1970, they're gonna run out, they're gonna have counted 2,147,000,000 numbers, by January 1st, 2038, and, uh, yeah, they're, they're gonna... That's a fun story, man. Um, six dots, open three doors. Grandpa used to say that, but I don't know what he meant. Uh, but yeah, like, all of our dates are gonna roll over, um, back to 1970. Well, if, if your clock is using a 32-bit number, which 
all modern computers don't anymore. Uh, we will be fine until the year like 978,000 or something like that. Yes? Yes, Town? I don't know, I heard of a place like that. No? That doesn't make any sense. Okay. Uh, you want to your friend because Gen 2 went in time, uh, to time for and the whole universe collapsed. Yeah. That is gonna be a problem for like some video games. It depends on the game. But a lot of a lot of handheld games like did their own unique time solutions. Um, games like this is like, hey, yeah, we count the number of days since 2000. Um, which in theory means it's fine until they just arbitrarily call it at 2099, I guess. Um, imagine being this NPC who lives in Gen 2. Oh. So, anyway, so I wanted to not end the stream just here, I'm not- I still have a thing to do. I got a thing to do. Uh, but, uh, I'm gonna fish here because, uh, you can still fish and surf here. It's like, um, wow, that was quick. Um, you're not seeing any, you know, weird Pokemon you haven't seen before. Uh, there's still a 60% chance for a Whelmer, but I'm just looking at it and going, oh, apparently Whelmer starts at level 30 now. Which means I think there's a little, little tiny bit more chance that I'll actually get a uh, Whelmer that's the level I want. But I seem to also just keep finding shot Peter, so... I, I got attacked by a shark while standing right next to a child. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Whoop. Whoop. Here we go, here we go. I'm feeling, I'm really feeling it. It's not a high level, bro. It's not a high level. Uh, the alternative is I use the daycare and I wander around for quite a while. Quite a while. If I had the foresight, I would have done that, but I didn't, so... Whoops. But yeah, the goal for the rest of the stream is, uh, let's try and do that side thing? Imagine walking and seeing a hungry shark sprinting in, uh, into the air, uh, out of the water, and then bite your neighbor. Dude, I would not trust a shark NATO shark coming out of me like that. Sharks aren't even the most terrifying thing in the water. Like, they're very scary. Because it's like, I got the sharp teeth, but like, real talk, like... I mean, I guess, in the ocean, you're not really gonna get, like, crocodiles, but, like, legit, crocodiles are, like, messed. A shark is, like, you know, they... Y y your risk of getting eaten by a shark is not as high. Like, sharks may think they want to eat you, I don't know. I think sharks have, like, a certain... I don't know how sharks exactly work, but I know a crocodile, flat out, will eat you. They are hungry for humans. They, like, never mess with a crocodile. Or an alligator. But particularly the crocodiles. Why are they all so low level? Is it because... they are no higher level than the Pokémon I have out front? Is that why? I did not forget dinosaur roots. True, true. I'm curious if it's based on my starting Pokemon. Someone can confirm whether that's the case. What part of above level 30? Bulbapedia, fix your stuff! I don't think these rates are even correct. Maybe I should cross confirm on Cerebi, because Cerebi usually is a bit more correct. Here I am, wasting my stream time. He's level 25, he just keeps getting lower and lower. Uh, oh gosh, where's the... Every time I 
time I go to Cerebri.net, the freaking website gets smaller and smaller. Uh, okay, we're looking up Welma. Do I know him by number? Oh my gosh. So, uh, yeah, technology. Uh, there's a, uh, there's an RTX 4060 coming out, uh, this upcoming week. Yet another graphics card, yet another leaks of benchmarks and all that stuff. Uh, official benchmarks, that kind of stuff. Um, I would definitely say NVIDIA is getting better with, uh, making it clear, like, what the card is actually capable of. Found my way in a really strange game situation. Really strange game situation. 34 is better, but it's not like... It's not good enough. I shrunk out for a moment. There's a... You see, yeah, Bulbapedia says level 45, and I've been repeating that over and over again. But I have yet to see a Whalema above 35, let alone 45. You'd think the odds of 45 would be up there. For some odd reason, Cerebi only seems to have the Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire numbers. Oh, there we go. Drink game Gen 3. There we go. And the answer is 30 to 35. This is a Cerebi thing, apparently. Cerebi even says this. Oh, I can definitely tell you, Sarabi, I am using a super rod. Because, I mean, I, like, I'm looking at this as well. The good rod is between levels 10 and 30. And I should be finding Tentacle and Magic up in that case. But there it is. 29. That is below... <laughs> I'm going to take three more goes, and then... Uh... We're just gonna... Okay, Batman Arkham uh, Community Origins is named the worst game in the series. To be honest, I... Sort of enjoyed Origins more than Night. I didn't like Night a ton. I played it a fair bit later, but I don't know, like, Night didn't really stick with me much. Uh, now doing post-story content at Night. Yeah, yeah, like, Night just doesn't feel like... Night feels like it wastes my time, whereas at least like Origins just feels like stuff is not as good. It is feel for the whole series. Okay. Uh. All right. Last attempt, and if not, then this well is going in the. Comparing Chronology. Oh, so you played Origins first. Lord. Uh... Oh, there he is! Woo! Finally. Finally. This return is going to do a lot of damage now I think about it. A bit of a terrifying amount of damage. Uh, let's get him with the Aerial Ace. Yeah, okay. Magic care. Oh, dude. Dude, I, I am worried. But, I mean, it is a Whalmer. It is a Whalmer. What's, what's its catch rate? It's, it's decently high, isn't it? Dang it. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. oh, I got a little worried. I got a little worried there. <laughs> but I was like, I was like, hmm, it didn't look like I did half the damage the first time, so I was like, okay. 
That's perfect. That's perfect. Easy. Easy. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. I'm... Cl okay, I was going insane. I was going insane that, like, you'd be able to... You wouldn't be able to find a whale by that high level. But okay, sure. Cool. Cool. Okay, now I'm gonna move some Pokemon around. Uh, so first of all, we've got Swampert here, who is just unfortunately not gonna get any love. And, uh... I'm gonna move Cast Form out. I know, I know, it's only for a moment, and it's just because I need this Whalmer, two Whalmers, and the Relican in the party. And, uh, yeah. Now, we're also going to go into the bag and use one of those rare candies, aka the only one in my inventory, on this Whalmer. Anyone wants to learn Water Spout? Good on you, Whalmer. No? Yes? 10.30, so... <laughs> oh, no, 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 we're not finishing the game today. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm, like, confident in next week, but I definitely feel the week after. What that make that? 10 streams? That's a good number, given that, like... Oh, and, and a bonus stream. Do one, do one for the end of the game. Like, I, there's a little bit of extra at the end. I'm not really going to do a ton of con contests, but I do want to, like, experience the contest. And kind of show it off. Uh, I don't have any... Oh, I do have weekend Pokemon. Yes. The contests are fun. The only thing with the contest is that, like... I don't really think there's a great, like, stream potential for playing through every contest. Because once you've played one, you've sort of played them all, it's just learn your different strats and go from there. Um, now there's gonna be trainers. Because, uh, yeah, this whole trek now to go west here, um, is, like, it's filled with currents, and there's a very, very, very particular path right in the middle that somehow ends you up at where you need to be. This is a remarkably hidden spot. It's not like too crazy hidden, but... You're gonna have to deal with these trainers all over the place as well. Hey, see it just starts pushing you the wrong way. Oh, check it out. Red candy. Okay. Uh, I may have missed it. That might have been there in the middle. Because I'm, I'm constantly just moving up right now. That's why I got I got a flying Pokemon in my body, because it's like, oh, you know, if you goof it up, you just go back to the start and try it again. So I'm very certain the depths are on... Well, that probably already happened, I think. Yeah, there's a lot of trainers, like, chilling over here as well. Like... 12, I think? There's 12 trainers. I think this is probably what people mean by too much water. And then, yeah, you just end up in Slaveport City. So, for reference on the map, uh, when I was fishing for the Whale Lord before, I was here. I was bang on here. That's why it took a little bit of a trek to get all the way to Pacific Log. Uh, it's blue because it's a town, and the towns are towns, I guess. Um, and then uh, that whole trek, because it all just happens automatically. You're on the, the, the currents, you don't actually get to experience any wild Pokemon. So... Oh, I got a couple of items. Let's have another crack at it and try and find that secret underwater base. And it needs a dive, so... I think in theory you could do this before the 8th gym. Alright, let's go a bit more south this time. Whoa! <laughs> I contemplate Pokemon 24 hours a day! How could you possibly beat me? He said, knowing full well that I had the strategy and he didn't. But he's got the flexing of the legs and I don't, so... Here's Riff Raffy, he is one level away from evolving. He's probably, like... I've, I've not used Riff Raff a ton, but he's come up a bit. Moving through this was a pain, and I had the official. Yeah, I had a, um, oh, I forget the specific strategy guide, but it was an Australian magazine 
um, supporting my local creators that didn't buy the primer guides on this one. There was actually, there was this wonderful like magazine and they would do like official or unofficial strategy guide, like that kind of stuff. And um, they would make these like little tiny books and they would just dot point the whole game. Like why be that large? Just dot point all the things. You don't really need to like describe the game in crazy detail. I have all these big pictures. Um, here I wish they did though. <laughs> But yeah, I, this game, like, especially the strategy guide, like, market, absolutely, like, you know, re reaping it in on this game. Alright, I seem to be going okay, because now I'm on this island, which does not have any current, but it's also not a diveable island. Um, now, I think there's a barrier in between... I think I should be okay. Now it's gonna push me down, and that's okay. And it pushes me up. And there's uh, two people here, which I shall promptly ignore and head towards this island. Okay, okay. Oh, I think I, I think I know where I'm going, and then I just want to go like straight out this way, right? Looks like it's funneling me towards this platform, and then I think if I just go like straight ahead, I think I'm good. Yeah, yeah. This magical spot. I guess it's more just along the lower half of the the path here. Underwater. No battles, cause no grass. So just, just chill, exploring around. And then suddenly, this! Now, as a kid, this is where we start getting to the whole, what are you doing? As a kid, you look at this and you go, what does this mean? Uh, do I actually have this, like... Oh yeah, yeah, I do. So, yeah, what this is saying, um, is your trick. <laughs> I, I was thinking, did I have... I feel like I didn't bring everything I needed. Oh yeah, yeah. So this is a this is Braille, by the way, which is is great. Is the fact that this is in a digital game, so all the people who know Braille probably can't see this, and all the people who <laughs> can't read Braille are looking at this going, "What is going on?" But effectively, uh, it's uh, six dots arranged uh, three rows of two columns, uh, and then some of them are, you know, thick dots. And the idea is that the pattern of the dots indicates a letter. Uh, you'll see that there is a, um, I guess, you know, at the end, there's two dots that look similar. Everything else is different, I think. Um, and the spaces, which are when there's no dots there. You just have to know that this reads, go up here. Which seems easy enough. You could probably take a guess there. Um, the problem is, is that now uh, there's a bajillion of these. Uh, and they all read various different words, I think. I can't tell you what the words are off the top of my head, but none of them are hugely important. Except for this one. Uh, because now this says, uh... I think it says, dig here. And this is the problem, I didn't bring dig. <laughs> I have a TM with dig. I ain't teaching it to these two, though. Alright, alright. <laughs> dang it, dang it. I need a Pokemon that learns dig. <laughs> I didn't plan this one through. My bad, my bad. I, pl I planned for the second puzzle. Plan for the second puzzle. For the, yeah, the first one. Well, one, it's finding the location, which is a bit iffy, but then also, like, yeah. Okay, so now I need a Pokemon that can learn Dig. And I'm just curious if I've got, like, one in my box somewhere?
Uh, let's see, who can learn dig that I can actually get? Do I have a Geodude? Let's see. Uh... Let me, let me check. Third gens. Uh... Oh my goodness, Zigzagoon, you can learn it. You can learn it, Zigzagoon. Okay, let's get rid of Ninjaska's... Listen, my whole box is going out of whack. The Zigzagoon can learn dig. Amazing! You did it, Brushy. Incredible. He doesn't need tail whip though. Wow. Okay. Okay. It didn't go as, as poorly as I as I uh, thought it could. So here we go. Third time's a charm. <laughs> um, but yeah, the 4060. Uh, I mean, all all of Nvidia's hardware is kind of acting the same way. It's just like it comes out, the price is going to be trash, and then uh, you know they'll. It will, well, at least here in Australia, it gradually uh, adjusts out. Uh, the launch price of this GPU is 300 US dollars, or um, 549 Australian, which is really absurd because the 4060 Ti is 600 bucks. It dropped very quickly, like within a day, to 600 bucks. So this launch price, you know, I would have gone, oh, you know, it would drop even sooner. And it did. Oh, I finally got it. His ears, Batman uh, ears after Origin is the reason why I have the. Oh, because his ears are super spiky, aren't they? In that game. Like his costume is just that weirdly spiky ears. Um, but I would just like to say, just before the stream, I checked and it was taken down. But for like a day or two before, I saw Skycomp was selling. Um, I think it was a gigabyte, 4060, for $534, $11 under MSRP and the card comes out in 5 days time, or 4 days time now I think. Um, it's now been taken down, but you, it wasn't even like pre-order, it was like flat out like you could just buy it. I don't know if people are like getting that honored, but um, I'm curious if they're actually is this working? Is people, are people just getting their 4060s a bit early? I don't think it's worth it that price. So anyway, they say, dig here, brushy, your time has come. You are finally credit to team and a hole appears on the wall. Now, uh, you now get an essay. So good luck. Um, I think these both say the exact same thing. No, they don't. They say different things. They all say different things. This is your actual clue. But, uh, this is, like, actual lore that I just cannot read. Full immersion. But there is, like, proper, like, lore written all over here, except it's in... <laughs> it's flat out in a language you can't see. But here comes the most bizarre puzzle I have ever seen. This reads, First comes Relicanth, last comes Whale Lord. What a bizarre puzzle. You have to have Relicanth at the beginning of your party and Whale Lord at the end. That is the reason why I caught these two earlier in the stream. Press on this again, and suddenly the ground shakes. Is that the same sound as the moving truck? You sound three clicks. It sounded as if a door opened somewhere far, far away. Now, conveniently, I guess I've got dig. So you can just leave. Woo! <laughs> but uh, now with that, that has unlocked three different doors around the map. And I shall be taking my sweet time trying to at least get some this stream. If I feel tired, I'll just call it a stream. But I'm at least getting uh, one of them. So there are three legendary Pokemon all available to capture right now. The first one is uh, at Dufa Town? Well, not not at Dufa Town. Also, I don't need the Rollicanth and the Whale Lord and the, the Zigzagoon anymore. I can get rid of them, don't worry. Let's 
move the Pokemon. Okay, so first of all, Zigzagoon. Sorry, man, you're going on, you're going into the box probably forever now. Uh, I will keep. I don't think I need a dive, so I, I don't think I actually need Jonah. I think I just need something to fly really to get me around quicker. Um, Relicanth can be relegated to the box, and as well, though. Well, Lord, rather, can go there. So let's pull out Swampert. Uh, let's get Magcargo back into the fray for the moment. Uh, and then... I don't think Grumpig's actually got the best opportunity this time around. I think it is everyone else, so... Let's do that, and uh, not have trophies up front. Let's have a... Let's have a North up front, why not? Okay, so, uh, lastly, I'm gonna need some Pokeballs, which is convenient because, uh, they don't sell them here. Particularly Ultra Balls, because, uh, this, this is gonna... I mean, there's four Pokemon I need to catch left, or five Pokemon I need to catch in the rest of the game, and, uh... Yeah, if I don't have enough Ultra Balls, at least for the four of them that I'm not using the Master Ball on, one particular one. I want to use the mask ball on that one. Welcome! Yes, uh, please give me your balls. Uh, let's go... 40, I guess? I got a lot of money, I'll tell you that. Like, I feel confident just, like, spamming, like, full resources and revives later in the game, and... Because a lot of trainers give you several thousand dollars in reward. Like, it's pretty high. Uh, so I'm trying to remember which direction. I think it's up. Actually, it's north. So let's give a save here, just so I have some progress. Um, but yeah, the only thing really to, like, continue the game now is just going to, you know, going east. I, I, I said that earlier, I'm just going to remind you again. Like, all this stuff I, I'm doing here, it's pretty much all been just, you know, as an extra. Um... It's kind of fun now that you got Surf here. Uh, all these trainers actually have Pokemon as if they're like, you know, right after you get Surf as well. So uh, I think we're all in the 20s. There's not really a whole lot of purpose in fighting them. Maybe they'll have a re rematch um, excuse. But uh, yeah, oh, this guy's just going to be in the way. I was worried that, that a kid was drowning when I saw you. Whoa, man. Listen, I may not be able to swim, but I've at least got abs. Uh, okay, to the uh, using the fighting type attack on the dark type Pokemon. And calling it a day with this Carvana. He's only gonna give me, what, like 100 experience? 500, jeez. That's pretty good. Never mind, I take it back. These guys are gonna be easy fodder. Um, and yeah, there's another hiker over here. It's supposed to be a missable rock around here. Do you know where I think that? I like how many trainers actually make mention of this, uh, you know, this mythical rock thing. It'd be kind of fun if I, uh, had a sand true, but don't you dare poison me, bro. I'm not, I'm not in the mood for getting poisoned at this point. Um, so yeah, so in 4060, uh, yeah, personally I would like to see it down to 450 Australian, or, um, 240 US, I guess. Um, the biggest, uh, catch with the 4060 is still that 128 bit with, um, memory bus. It's probably not as much a deal breaker given that, um, at least compared to the 4060 Ti, because the 3060 Ti was a great card. The regular 3060, I personally did not like as much, um, and so relative going from the last generation to this generation, I'm much more okay with this card, but I would also say turn your eyes back a little bit further to the 2060, which was a really good card, and uh, at least, you know, price aside, but like the actual, like, it was a 2060, and it was crazy good performing. It was like a 1080, like, competitor for some reason. Or like a match for the 1080. Anyway, here's the rock. Um, it is, uh, for reference on the map, uh, going a bit to the west, 
And particularly here. Maybe it would have been easier to just go from Battleberg. Um, but inside this rock, after you have done that whole Relicant situation, is you now had to do... Uh, Oh, yeah, every- all of these have a puzzle. Still. So this actually says, stop and wait, wait for time to pass twice. As in, now I shall put down the controller and wait for two whole minutes. How- what fun, what actual fun. <laughs> I, I forgot how silly these puzzles were, but you know what? There's some fun mystery in the fact that this is, like, a thing. I don't know. I, like, I feel like games should have mystery. Every, like, when I was playing Tony Hawk, like, a few weeks ago, it was like... I didn't even realize until way near the end of the game that you can open the gym in school, too. You go down the rail and you go down at a very specific time and it just opens up the gym and suddenly there's all these jumps and like a like a swimming pool there's no water in it but there's a pool there and, and like a, a basketball court with some ramps all over the place and it's like that's just there. You could beat the whole game, unlock everything. Well not everything because you need to do all the gaps but you could unlock a lot of things and you wouldn't even see that so yeah. Uh... Yeah, I, I don't know, I think the 4060, like, from the benchmarks, it actually looks okay. As a comparison, it actually looks like, um, about where a 2080 was. Uh, it might not scale to 4K as well, though, so it might be like 1080, it's like a 2080. Um, 1080p, that is. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's not the worst. It's not the worst. I do wish these cards still did 4K. Because they used to do 4K pretty okay, um, pretty decently. Now it's like, it just, it doesn't feel anywhere near as good. And not even with like, oh, but, but with ray tracing, how can you expect to do that? It's like, no, like, it just flat out doesn't do the ray tracing. Sorry, it, it doesn't do 4K as well at all. There's... Like, I mean, that's the problem with the 4060 Ti. It plays games worse than the 3060 Ti at certain resolutions. Do I have to be facing the wall? Have I awkwardly done the wrong thing? Alright, I will just now sit here. <laughs> I'm looking at my clock. 10.51.43. Yeah. Um... So, yeah, I, I, I'm still on the fence about that about that memory bus with. Um, it's still a bit of a stripped down die as well. Like, there's, um, like it is yeah, so fairly cut down. Um, but, I mean, it's so fairly cut down compared to the 4090. And compared to like the 4070 Ti, which is where I think most people should probably be like basing their expectations. I mean, that card is 1300 bucks and it performs Pretty much how I expected a card that was, or 1200 bucks now. Well, yeah, it's, yeah, it's 1200, I think. And it performs basically how I expect a flagship usually should perform. It's pretty good. If any, well, <laughs> performs like a flagship if you forget that the 3090 was a thing, but also the 3090 was more expensive for the longest time. So, uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I think it'll be okay. Not groundbreaking. Uh, there's still people on Reddit complaining that it's like, all these cards are one tier up. Bro, I would be incredibly surprised if a 4050 branded card was apparently as good as a 2080. I think people have got their expectations crazy high, and ultimately, again, end of the day, what price, and how does it perform? That's it. I wish there were lower tier cards still. Uh, the Intel A750 seems to be the, the crown jewel of uh, cheap cards that still seem to do okay. Um, although the RX 6600 is actually pretty okay. This two full minutes, like, hold on, I'm gonna wait like another like 30 seconds, but I swear I'm going nuts. I swear I've, like, it's been two full minutes, hasn't it? Oh, finally, okay, sure. I, I swear, that was two full minutes. That wasn't me just waiting and arbitrarily pressing a button. That was actually, <laughs> Two full minutes. Oh well. Then we had 20 hours. 20 hours doesn't feel like very much for like 
RPG. I would have imagined like 30, but eh, we've got some grinding to do probably. Anyway, Witness. Uh, we got some special music for this one. Witness Red Dice. A legendary ice type Pokemon. Uh, Red Dice here has Icy Wind. Curse is not Ghost type, so don't worry about that. Superpower and Ancient Power. Um, and his stats are he has. Uh, 80 HP, 50 attack, 100 defense, 100 special attack, 200 special defense, and 50 defense. Oh, 50 speed, sorry. Uh, it's probably not got, like, that... I mean, 100 special attack is gonna be kinda gnarly, but it is also level 40. It's not... It's not the worst I've seen. Um... Do I go with Return or Brick Break? I'm gonna go with Aerial Ice, actually. Okay, Aerial Ice is super weak. And I'm a dead bug. That's okay. And he got all his stats raised, so that's good fun. Um, it's gonna be a, probably a couple of attempts at this. Uh, all the, the Reggies have three of a catch rate, so... Uh, I can't easily, you know, <laughs> best I can do is try and whittle them down as much as I can. Oh, oh, that was a horrendously low amount of, amount of uh, damage. Uh, I guess cars form, maybe? I think like the thunder is actually not going to kill him. Yeah, no, he's kind of got a lot of moves that will probably wreck me. Maybe I should just start... I'll just start throwing Pokeballs. A uh, Superpower, by the way, is a 120 power, 100 accuracy move, 5 PP, but it lowers your attack and defense by one stage when you do use it, so... Um, it's kind of an all... well, you know, an at the end of the, the, the plan kind of move, but... Uh, that's okay, because I've got plenty of Ultra Balls. 40 of them. We should be able to catch them decently. <laughs> Decently. Might take a couple of goes though. We'll see. I'm amazed how bulky Kipperoni is. I don't know why this keeps happening. I wasn't expecting him to like just be able to resist everything. Like I know that's, you know, half effective. But like, I don't know, he doesn't have his plan. He doesn't have a stray. He's just... He's just winging it. But apparently my balls don't work, so... That's okay. Uh, or is it okay because I've got to catch three of them? But I mean, I don't really have a use for money other than buying a bunch of stuff right at the end of the game, so... I've got plenty of opportunities to just, like, you know, fight some trainers and get some more money again. Oh, me health. Not me health, I need it. Come on. Uh. Oh. Uh, I would like to remind everyone with this 4060 release that there is still no AMD... I mean, granted, I guess the 7600 is the competitive card, and it's, it's a fairly aggressive price right now, but... Besides that, AMD have not released a graphics card since the 7900 XT and XTX from the end of last year. We are now at the end of June. We are halfway in the year. NVIDIA has basically thrown the entire stack at us now. We've had all the cards from the 4070 Ti, 4070, 4060 Ti, 4060. I guess it's only four cards, but compared to one. And I'm not saying you need more cards in order to, you know, uh, have a good you know, have good sales, if a card is, you know, the de de definitive great card, that's not a problem. But in AMD's case, we're starting to get to this weird problem in Australia where the cards are going out of stock. 
it's very hard to find a 6900 XT for as good a price as it used to be, near like a thousand bucks, maybe even 900 if you're lucky. Um, we're seeing things like the 6800 is kind of, or the 6800 XT is sort of around that price, sure. Um, the 6800, I think I've seen for 780. It's been better. And then there's suddenly a giant gap to the 6750 XT, um, because, uh, but then like the 6750 XT is like, uh, I guess a refresh card. We're, we're seeing the refresh cards be the only cards now, and the original runs of the cards are all gone. There's no more 6700s really, um, 6600 XTs are gone. I think I'm a goner right here. But that Ultra Ball is not, it's not working, it's, it's magic. Oh, I got one more chance! I got one more chance! Banana Chin, you've got- you've, you've bought me one more opportunity. I'll probably call after this one, I feel like the other two are probably gonna take their sweet time being bought. Nah, nah. Oh, nah, okay. And there's another half hour. You can- wow, I'm amazed how, like, predictable that half hour. Because, yeah, for reference, I've got my Windows desktop changing. The, the background every half an hour and that is actually like you can just hear it everything freezes on the computer for that time maybe that's a trick just simplify your windows don't don't have fancy stuff happening don't change your desktop background that just means that it's probably regressed in performance and I'm probably dead so let's do a reboot the first reboot of the day by the way I did not even have to reboot before. Uh, you could kill these guys. I don't know if... I think they come back. Maybe. Do they? Actually, I don't think they do. No, no, I think it was the next gen when they started bringing, like, legendaries that would come back eventually. Now that is a good amount of health. That is a good amount of, of damage to be on. I kind of want Riff Raff to evolve as well, like he's right there. He's not going to evolve off, like, you know, catching a Regice. What was it, 6th gen that gave you experience for catching Pokemon? That feels like a feature I'm surprised it took them that long to, to put in, but yeah. Oh, oh. Who's gonna be that guy who uses like Kyogre, the three Reggies, and then what other like Pokemon do you use as part of your legendary team? Because I mean, there are two more legendaries that you can get in the game, but they're both post-game. They are strictly like after, after the Elite Four. But yeah, oh yeah, the the mystery of the puzzles. That's such a like. I'm surprised that the newer games don't do that. Just give me like really obscure puzzles like that. Give me like just tell me, ah oh, yes, you need a freaking you need a Roserade in the beginning of your party, you need a, a Quagsire that knows uh, return in his third slot, sitting in the second slot, like you're basically pulling the uh, the the you know the, the glitch from gold and silver, pulling that one again. Oh no, my attack fell. Whatever will I do? Also, I haven't talked about Reddit this whole stream, but there's not really anything that's been going on. It's been most of the same scenarios last week. Uh, Lemmy's coming along a bit nicer. Um, I was having front-end issues where the front-end would basically not present any like new posts at all. I keep just seeing the same thing from like eight days ago at that point. Um, they have a new update, it sort of removes all the web sockets and just replaces it with something a bit simpler, but it also apparently breaks support for um, the Android app. Uh, and, uh, or a Android app, because multiple of them. And, uh... I think that's it. I don't think I've had really any other issues with, with that front end. Um, People still talk very meta, and you'll sometimes just come across the post of like, 
Oh, how, like, I said something tame and I got banned for it. What's going on? Like, you'll, you'll just come across that kind of stuff, but then it's just like, I shouldn't be treating it like the heavily curated Reddit. I'm, I should be treating it as just like, this is just a forum and you're just going to see that one guy complain about, you know, the meta nature of the board or something like that. Um, so, yeah, I don't really have too much to say about it. It's just kind of... It's just kind of happening. I guess there's a lot of communities that have done the jump. Um, I forgot the, the there's a there's a domain someone's got, and they're hosting a website, and they're basically tracking every like um, Lemmy. Uh, sometimes it's Discord, sometimes it's the other ones as well. Uh, I forgot the, the names of the other services, but it's like it's not Lemmy. Um, I know this guy's got a catch rate of three, but this is this is sort of obnoxious. But then again, it's like if you remember Kyogre from the last stream, yeah, imagine I've, I've got to do that exactly three times. And this is the first of the three times. In theory, a timer ball probably gets better. Fourth gen has uh, the um, dusk balls, which is absolutely broken. Um, the Dusk Balls are like normal Pokeballs when it's daytime, but when it's either nighttime or in a cave, which in a cave is like every legendary, uh, it's like three and a half times the chance, whereas a, an Ultra Ball is two and a half, uh, two times the chance. There's like, it's just like, why don't you not just use a Dusk Ball all the time? Or play the game at night, by the way, because when it's nighttime, now everywhere is Dusk Ball a ball. You know what I mean? Um... But in this game, uh, your options are a little more limited, especially when the Reg Ice doesn't want to be caught. He's not having a fun time. Well, I'm not having a fun time. Yeah, at least it's not a whole stream of me just catching Reggies. We're divvying it up. I'm doing one now, I'm doing two next week. Yeah. Oh, snap, he's about to die. <laughs> that was a, that's an interesting way of going about it. Listen, we'll keep, we'll keep cracking at it, because you just need that one. You just need that one, that one go, and then you're good. You got him. Easy. Is there really any reason to, like, sit tight and actually catch these guys? Probably not. You know, at the end of the day, it's like, well, there he is. If you want to catch him, sure, go for it. <laughs> I'm going to catch him and then just, like, never use him, you know what I mean? Um, but, the, I don't know, there's something fun about actually, get, you know, getting in there and doing it. Oh, okay, okay. Riff Raff, you're going a bit too aggressive on that one. <laughs> what a bunch of Pokemon to stream now I think about it. be the fourth one I catch. And yes, the Master Ball is chilling there, but we're not using the Master Ball. We're saving that for a certain Pokemon that loves leaving, which is fortunately only one of them in this game. Whereas in the last game, it was uh, three of them. You had to find all three legendary, uh, you know, dogs and have absolutely zero indicator where they are. In this game, you still get zero indicator, but at least there's only one of them. Uh, and then in the next game, you get indicators, but uh, there's four of them, so... I don't think I can go any further than that, that's it. It's not as tight as the, as the uh, last amount I had, but sure. They don't do catch rates of three really anymore, and oh, some of the newer games, I think they've started doing them again. But yeah, there was a period of Pokemon games where it's like the legendaries would have like catch rates of 45, because they were like, hey, it takes a long time to catch them. It's like, no, everyone likes the challenge of save scumming, basically. Everyone save scums a legendary. Kids would not know about save scumming had it not been for legendary Pokemon. But, oh my goodness, he is very temperamental. 
and remembering the way that the algorithm worked on like first gen or even second gen because it's it's a normal algorithm now. It is there is consistently a chance at least, uh, whereas uh, in the previous two games there was no chance at some point. You were basically forced to do a status condition, but here, no, there is a chance, and he's actively not considering that chance every time. Like, I mean, I know the odds are sort of, you know, tricky after a while, but, like, I'm looking at the catch rate. This is... third gen. Okay, so three times his max HP, minus two times his current HP, all over three. So, th I guess the idea is that, yeah, his HP gradually drops to, um... Uh, well... Like, that, that value, you know... Uh, what's the term? It approaches a third, basically. Uh, or, sorry, it starts at a third, it approaches, uh... One, I guess. Because three times his match HP minus two times his current HP is one when it's full, and three when it's not full, and then it's all divided by three, so, yep. Uh, and then times the rate, which is the catch rate of the Pokémon, which is three in this case. Um... And then times the bonus ball, which in this case is two. Is two times multiplied from the Ultra Ball. Times bonus status, which is... Uh, it, it'd be two times for Sleep and Frozen, one and a half for Paralysis, but he's not got that, so it's one. Uh, and then that's a value called A, and I think the value A is then rolled between... Uh, you get a random roll between zero and 255, and if it's above A, or if it's... I think it's below A, then you get it. So effectively, it just means that, like, I should have, um, you know, let's say it's 1 times 3 times 2, which is 6. Out of 255, that's not a very high chance, to be honest. Pretty sure that's the chance, right? Right? Okay, is capped at 255. I don't know how the ball shakes work in this game. I think the ball shakes are completely random. Like it just goes, did it catch and or did it not? And then if it didn't, then just you know roll a random number of wiggles, basically. Man, I've been here for a bit, haven't I? I don't know what to say, man. I'm just going here, I'm spamming the one ball that should be doing at least a fair bit of wonderful work. And uh, instead, uh... Instead, uh, it's being very temperamental. Because, okay, the worst part as well is that Kyoga had the same catch rate. Kyoga should have been just as hard to catch as this guy. Or rather, this guy should be just as hard to catch as Kyoga. He seems to be handling it way worse than Kyogre was. I say knowing that this is just the third attempt. But still. Not my speed. I need that. Ah, da 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 da. After this, I'll take one more crack at it, and if not, I'm just going to bed, man. <laughs> like, this is going on for a fair bit. We'll take another crack at it next week, I guess. You hear that, Reg Ice? Yeah, jeez. I know, right? Like, I, I know my odds are not very good, but... <sighs> Persistence, man. Persistence. Friend is coming. <laughs> That's fair enough, man. That's fair enough. I think I need more Pokeballs or more uh, Ultra Balls. I am now in the TV in the background We're watching watching the guy constantly throwing Ultra Balls. 
constantly throwing all towards at the red eyes. I wonder actually, I don't know why, my brain was just like, can a, like, someone record like a demo long play of them just playing? Can we have like randomized like playthroughs? Like an AI can somehow like just casually beat Pokemon without like, you know, without like min maxing and looking like they're just looking like a like a bot the whole time. It's like no, no, like. Okay, all right, one more attempt, one more attempt, and this is an attempt where I don't kill him. I'll, I'll lay my ground rules there. If I kill him right away, I'll, I'll take another crack. Uh, do I have an ice pun? Um... Nice to meet you. Uh... The, uh... Nah, oh, man. Call the Snorlax? There's no Snorlax in this game. Is uh is is long gone. There's no Snorlax in this one. Uh, I think probably because they knew that they were doing um fire red and leaf green, and uh, so they saved a lot of the first gen Pokemon to basically come up in that game, so you could trade them over. Um, yes, yes, the profile picture. There's a Munchlax on screen. Well, there's no Munchlax in this game, anyways. It is a rip though, yeah. And you know what else is a rip? Catching this Regice! I've been at this for like... Only 40 minutes now? It's been at least 30, I know that. Just constantly going... He's so temperamental, this Regice. transfer a Munchlax to this game. Not this game. Uh, you could transfer a Snorlax, uh, but, you know, I, I like playing these games as, like, what's the tools that they give to you? Oh, I had the three wiggles, my blood pressure rose a bit, and then it's like, nah, nah, it was, it was not meant to be. Um, I could do Munchlax in uh, Diamond, but you can also just get much Munchlax, but he is so incredibly hard. Like, if I played Diamond, I, I, I tell you, it would have to be a, a freak, a freak incident that I get a Munchlax. Actually, do you have to play back-to-back -back days in Diamond Pearl to get the honey tree to work? Like, do you put the honey on the tree and then you come back the exact next day? Because if you come back two days, it's gone. Because that would rule out the honey trees unless I did some, you know, time shuffling. And even then, then there's a 1% chance that it's Munchlax, which is, uh, personally too rare. Oh, is that gonna kill him? Okay, no, no, I said my rules. If it kills him, we're not counting it. It would help if, uh, he, had, he got burned earlier, but... Nah, I got no words, man. I got no words when it's the, uh... When it's the catch chance. Ah, oh, this, this does sort of hurt that I gotta do this two more times. But I don't know, I, I feel like this is uniquely, uh... Taking much longer than it should. Because again, the, the catch chance, if you just threw a Pokeball at full health, is still 1.6%. That's... That's like, it's not a... Not a very high chance, 1.6%. But it is like, okay, well, I've lowered his health by that much, and I'm also using something that's got double the chance. My odds should be somewhere in, like, the... the 6%. Maybe the 5%, if I'm being generous. But after, like, gadget players... <laughs> look at that one point... Oh, exactly, yeah. Like, yeah, it should be about 6%, 7% even. I don't know the, the actual calculation, but I look at that and I go, that is most of his health done. 
that should be very close to, like, uh, a number of six. Six? This should be, I don't know. Actually, is it six? Wait, no, it's not six, because it's, uh... Oh, no, yeah, it is six, yeah, yeah. Hey, he's got a curse, I've got a curse, and the curse is apparently not catching the red ice. That defense, that special defense, by the way, of 200 is absolutely absurd. Um, for reference, I think, just to compare, because there's three of them, all different types. Um, the uh, second one that I would go for, next stream, mind you, uh, has uh, 200 defense. So that's his uh, strat. And the third one is 150 on both. Oh, heck yeah, first go. Nice. Regrise cloaks itself with a frigid air of negative 328 degrees Fahrenheit. Things will freeze solid just by going near this Pokemon. Its icy body is so cold, it will not melt even if it is immersed in magma. And it's 5 foot 11, so it's taller than the average person. It's a bit heavy as well. So. Well, there you go. First try. <laughs> First try. Uh, so anyway, let's save bang on 20 hours. Why, yes, I saved when there were... Oh, that only took me three minutes. What are you talking about? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, with that, I would like to thank you so very, very much for watching. If you enjoyed that and you liked my struggle, please, you can follow on Twitch or subscribe on YouTube. And if you missed bits of this, like the first four minutes where apparently I had no internet connection, then you can uh, catch that again, I guess. Um, but yeah, uh, if you, yeah, if you miss any other parts of any of the other streams, uh, yeah, they're all on YouTube, so don't worry if you miss out, you can watch back on them, or see the highlights, or watch me struggle, or whatever. Um, well, there's no highlight clips, it's just, the highlight is the whole stream. Uh, and yeah, it's the end of June, July next month, there's not really any big changes, it's just another month, but, you know, halfway through the year already, jeez, so... Yeah, actually. Oh my gosh, this year's going by fast, so. Anyways, take care everyone. Don't stay up too late like I am. Eat your greens. Uh, and uh, just keep throwing Pokeballs at Red Ice. You'll eventually get them. Persevere. That's the moral of the stream. And have good strategy, because apparently I beat Wallace with... I don't know how that even worked. That was magic. Alright.